He's on it. Uh, so there you go. All right, I'm in the back of the cab doing this ad. This episode was fucking hilarious. So all you fucking uh, nitpickers of last week, um, it was too too uh, serious. You guys, yeah, we get it. You guys are just bitching. Yeah, life is hard. Uh, we want to hear funny, funny. The last episode wasn't even funny. It was just you guys complaining about your fucking losing your family. <laughs> Listen, I get it. We're good. I understand. I get it. Some of you guys hated last week's episode But you know what? A lot of you loved it I got a lot of great emails too Saying thank you Because, um, look man So, it's ups and downs We actually had one of the guys that uh, didn't like last week's episode uh, On the show Which I thought was pretty interesting And I, I love it when you guys call up So, uh, this episode's hilarious though Fucking Chris Tinkle's on it from Hammer Fisting uh, Former And uh, Giannis Pappas' last YKWD show before he moves to Miami for his new unbelievable job. Dan Soda was killing it. Monster voice. And Louis J. Gomez was fucking hilarious. Kelly Festuka's last show right here is good, bro. Last show before she goes away for a month. We had the new intern, Chris, was, uh, was on the show. Uh, he was actually really funny too I really like this new guy Chris Really on top of it So Great show Thanks buddy I'll see ya Great show Hilarious If you like funny If you wanna If you fucking love the ones Where you just laugh This is the fucking show for you You cocksuckers So uh, Enjoy And I wanna thank all you guys That came out to Creek in the Cave this week Unbelievable, man, really. I did my hour there every night, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you guys really showed up. I appreciate it. Um, some nights were a little light, but if it wasn't for you guys showing up on that night, I would have been fucked. And then the last couple nights were packed up. I love it. So um, thank you for supporting me, coming up, introducing yourself, you, your fans of the show. You guys are unbelievable. You guys who didn't show up and support, fuck you, you lazy twats. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not, but fucking, you know, I don't want you to take it too serious. Dude, what the fuck, man? We listen to the podcast. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's it. Fuck it. Intro over. I, you know, you fucking tell me I yap too long on these. My wife told me I'm too wordy on the intros. So there you go. Enjoy the show. Unfucking believably funny. Oh, yeah, this week I'm at the Stress Factory. Friday, Saturday. And uh, I got Louis J. Gomez with me on Saturday. So you podcast fans, get your asses out. Okay, that's it. All right, now I'm done. Hey, gang. This is Colin Quinn. This is Jim Norton. This is Dennis Leary. This is Opie from a lot of things. This is Burt Kreischer. Stan Cook, and you are listening to Robert Kelly's You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? <laughs> ippy bippy baya, ippy bippy boo. Dippy dippy daya, yabba dabba doo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to do today. You guys can keep talking. Just, uh, I'm gonna, uh, we got, we got a bunch of new sponsors today that I'm gonna be talking. We DraftKings, which I love. Who's DraftKings? Yeah, DraftKings is actually, it's it's fantasy football, but one day. Okay, you can go in for one day, uh, and do uh, one day games. That's it, and you can win. Thousands of dollars in one day, Thousands? which is cr it's crazy. Yeah, this this American? is a true story. One of the guys won a hundred grand his very first time, hundred grand his first time playing. That's crazy. But we're going to be talking about DraftKings later. They're great, great new sponsor. We also have uh, Enzite. Hey, I know Enzite. Of course you do, because you got a limp dick. No, I don't. <laughs> Well, you're well, right now. I do. I tell you what. I, I always, I was always, you know, people are against this stuff. Even for young, you think it's for old guys. Yeah. It's really not. It's really not. It's it's. 
if you if you're trying to have if you have a relationship with a chick and you want to bang all the time, yeah, just, I can't do it. I'm one and done. Yeah, but I've taken this stuff and I've I've been able to f- get it up again and again yeah. and again, nice. like some sort of yeah, fuck yeah. robot. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got these guys who just joined on. We all got Hulu, Hulu, and Hulu and Plus too is in the game. What? You know, TweakedAudio.com, Amazon. And uh, all that. Why are my fucking headphones tweaking? Are they crackling? Mine's yes. doing the same thing. Why? I don't know. Why are the headphones crackling? Speak to us. No, they don't <laughs> Speak to us, headphones. <laughs> In the form of coyotes. <laughs> Why? Are they, what? I don't know. It sounds like an old timey radio. <laughs> What's the shit? Why? It's, why are those? Testing. Po- that was it. No? No, it's still there. It's crackling. Why are my headphones yeah, crackling? Lewis, why are the headphones crackling? What? Mine's crackling, though, too. Why are they fucking crackling? Did you try to fix it? Is it your... Did you do it? You're just a man of the people. You just have a printing press. All right, hang on. You all right? Yeah, they're crackling, and I don't like it. Why are you looking at me all weird? What the fuck are you doing, you savage? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I'm in a fucking really bad mood. Good, good. Yeah. Guess let's who? Talk it out. Let's raise. Giannis raise, is wheeling and dealing. Raise your hand if you care that fucking Lewis is in a really bad mood. You raise, know what? Your, raise your hand I if do. you fucking care that any of you care that I'm in a really fucking bad mood. Oh, you know what we need to wait, do? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know. What what I really just up, said, yeah, I don't even get Snap it. contest. I don't know if I should be raising my hand or not just now, but fuck all of you. Whoa, hey, dude. So, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to bet. It's a bad, it's a bad morning. If, well, if, I'd if, like to if, hear about it. First of all, if fucking Giannis says 100 grand one more time, I'm going to smash well, him with Giannis, we get it. You're moving to Miami for money. Hey, <laughs> listen. First of all, you don't talk over me. Okay. Second of all, you don't talk over anybody. You understand that, Lewis? I can hear a little clicking right now. <laughs> Kelly, go under, under there and fix that. Check the wires. I checked, I already checked. Go under and check the wires. Is that code? Wait. Put the phone it's down and friends. check the wires. Uh, check the wires. Huh? All right, so listen. Are you done, Giannis? What? Who? Who? Put the See, uh, oh, Giannis is taking the mic. That's what he does. <laughs> He's the only person I like. Listen I, to me. We don't fucking. I got to. I got to do this just in case I want to do an act out. I'm a black comedian. Yeah, what about your headphones? <laughs> Put your headphones on oh, so yeah. you don't talk. The same, to the, the same way that I refer to you as Marisa, I refer to Donnell as Ashley Larry. All right. <laughs> Why'd you have to take a shot at Donnell? He's not uh, here. Yeah. He, was, I don't know. he was just being a good dude, calling me. Fuck. What is he doing? What are you doing? Fuck Get, those hoes, no, man. All right, here's the rules. Do I got to really say this? Do I got to be teacher Bob? <laughs> Do I got to go ding, 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 class, welcome? No fucking cell phones no while the show's phone. going on. How's that? If you can't not look at your phone for the time that you're on this show, beat it. You know what I'm going to do if you look at your cell phone? Ah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad radio. It's, bad. it's a yeah. visual. Yeah. Man. Yep. <laughs> just gonna, remember. You're going to scream remember. into the microphone? Ah, yeah. that's what I'll do. All right, listen. Wow, I can feel this tension in the room between Liz and Chris. Yeah, what's happening? It's oh, not Chris God. at all. <laughs> Who is it's it, mate? No, Beatrice. Oh. Uh, first of all, you wide hip. Did you get wider? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me, me and Lewis are wearing Lewis the same and his top. ECW body. <laughs> <laughs> he really, he really has rhino hips. You know, you know what the problem is. Lewis looks like he could take a power bomb through a table. Dude, you know what the pro- you know what the problem is is that when he got the, you got so in shape that one time. Mm. Now every time I look at you, I compare. Yeah. What you look like now. You shouldn't have done that because now I'm thinking, I'll always think you look out of shape <laughs> because you nailed it for like three days. You yeah. nailed it. <laughs> yeah. It was like it was a four hour period where if you fucking got the right top lighting. Ooh. Yeah, you were you were ripped. Those? I remember at Eastville seeing you like one time and you were like, yeah, dude, it's all about the diet and I uh, got Salmon? it all worked out. Yeah, <laughs> Salmon once Sa- a day. I, I drink vodka and club sodas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no calories. And, and he was salmon without the skin. So fucking ripped. It mm. was, uh, yeah. It was. It's unrealistic to keep that pace up. Well, I mean, not really. I mean, you're doing well, it you're great. You're nailing it. 
<laughs> you know, listen, you fat Greek. I uh, <laughs> see some photos of you. Just because you lost weight because your fucking I've career been, yeah. and your relationships. I'm fucking. in the gym every day. Just don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a Clubber Lang montage and training. <laughs> Keep your mind off. Keep your mind off. Hurt yourself. This pain feels better than that pain. This pain feels better than that pain. <laughs> Physical pain better than emotional pain. You have Physical to look. Pain. You have to look better than him. You have yeah. to look better than him. Yeah. It's impossible. But keep trying. Keep trying. He does. He takes his shirt off and then does the act out where she runs into him with his shirt off. Oh hey, I didn't see you come in. Uh, Kelly, I want you to go under the table right now. Fuck, fuck you. Your, just stay there. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your new seat underneath the cloth. Kelly, go. Well, that's go, something. Go. Well, what's that? Yeah. Go. No. Uh, is it what's touching the plugs? I from love this. Pod- this is the only podcast where we solve technical difficulties while we're on the air. That's right. We're the YKW dude. <laughs> technical <laughs> solutions. <laughs> I like songs. Yeah, that was good. Uh, now that I have a kid, I sing songs all the time. Um, <laughs> well, now that Gian- hey, now that Giannis, Giannis has sorry, a- Giannis, but this I want to put on the show. I don't give a okay. fuck. Well, sorry, Bobby. Right, now I want to know what it is. <laughs> it's just funny. It's from Donnell. No, goes, no, fuck no. these bitches. Let the let's get this shmoney. <laughs> is he working with you too? Uh, no. Oh, work with me where? Now, is he going to Miami? No, no, no. We're just good, we're just old friends. Okay. I, just, uh, I love that now that Giannis has a TV show, he just uh, keeps his phone on ring, so he just get to hear <laughs> yeah, his text yeah, messages. Shut that fucking thing off and flip. It. Actually, give me your phone, Giannis. No, you're not. You yeah. can't. You're not my teacher. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am your teacher. teacher. I'm, I'm Joe. No. If you look I'll at your phone, put it in my pocket. If you, if hey, I see you looking at you your phone, you didn't even give me a warning. You gave I'm him a warning. You, I'm giving you a warning right now. This is your warning. I got it. What did I do? I just put it in my pocket. Fucking hipster jeans. From a corporate standpoint. Airplane mode. I'm just saying. Who cares? I um, this guy does. I right, well, don't record the whole show. If I'm gonna do that, I'll just get you stream. <laughs> Fucking perfect Dude, hair, why Chris. Did we, why did you go from a hot intern to a hotter intern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For all intents and purposes, Chris Scopo is actually hotter than Roe. Chris Scopo. Scraggly voice. Fucking stupid dress in Roe. <laughs> Sure. High, high <laughs> hip jeans. Yeah. Change your tune on there. Uh, uh, Chris is a nice Ro- guy. Good Rose, to you, Chris. Rose over my belly button <laughs> jeans. <laughs> this fucking bitch here. Like the first, like the first pair of jeans yeah, ever. She, like, she, yeah, just wear them up to right here on your ribs. <laughs> They're made of denim. That way, the mud doesn't get in them. <laughs> like, why, why do you need mud? You can wear yeah. them right at your. Do you like my new jeans? I'm Israeli. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's from Israel. He owns a restaurant. <laughs> and Lewis has got the same size tits. <laughs> that all works. Dude, that's, that's a great impression right there. That's pretty solid, right? <laughs> yeah. really oh, my God. Too bad she's nobody. Just, like, you did that on stage. People would be like, huh? Whoa. Everybody wow. Else like, wow. Wow. How we know how you feel about interns. Dan, I'm really attracted to you. <laughs> we should maybe go on a date. <laughs> What's your dad from? <laughs> my dad's from Israel. <laughs> He-Man villain. <laughs> why are your jeans, bro? Why are your jeans so high? Because I'm very stylish. <laughs> I'm in tune with all the fashions. I watched the VMAs and I saw the red carpet. I'm gonna buy those jeans. I live in a pond. It sounds like you're gonna be a He-Man. All your power is gone. <laughs> when I steal your sword, you can't turn into He-Man, Adam. I have He-Man's sword. Now he has no powers. <laughs> The Thundercats will all be dead. <laughs> oh, shit. You have 80s I'm only, cartoon villain voice. <laughs> I'm looking, You're on your phone right it's now. It's my show. You are a Look fucking hypocrite. Look at the hypocrite. name. No, Bobby, is Bobby, Bobby is a hypocrite. Bobby is a hypocrite. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. Listen, Bobby is first a of all, I, know, I just want to say this to uh, Mr. Thriller, part-time vegan. Are you happy now? <laughs> Are you happy that it's a fun show again? <laughs> what he complained last was... week? Yeah, I, lo- I had a few. Oh, fuck you, whoever you are. This show's no, not no, for no. you. Wait I, another episode. No, he's a huge fan. Yeah. I got like Who nine. Who gives a shit? No, hang on. I'm just gonna preface this. Yeah. He's a big fan of the show. He's listened to every episode. <laughs> but a lot of people last week because look, you gotta understand when I pick you motherfuckers for the shows. That when I pick certain people, the. There's a reason for it. You know what I mean? Like I know, complain a lot of I know, I know chemistry. Last week I picked, I knew it was going to be a very serious show. I knew it wasn't going to be, you know, I had Joe here, which sometimes Joe can just listen. He doesn't get, if one of you guys on here with the, with, um, list, 
you know, but he'll throw in his quips and shit like that. But mm-hmm. you, last week, I very serious show, very got very deep. Yeah, yeah, a lot. And you know, I don't give a shit though. It is what it so is. A lot of people. Say I hate this. Is what I hate when they call it ranting. Yeah. I wasn't. It's not ranting, motherfucker. It's opening up to you, fucking assholes, uh, about how a real. Yeah. We're literally. We're saying this. How this is real. <laughs> we go through fucked up shit too. I told a story about how I. I kind of lost my family. Yeah. Like my family. I don't mean to get off on a rant here. Yeah. Like you're Dennis Miller. I don't want to get off on a rant <laughs> here. Why don't you current... guys? Why don't you guys just enjoy the journey and stop yeah. pointing out all the flaws? Well, here's the deal. I'm gonna have him on. He's gonna come on the show. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Gonna straight clamp up on the mic. What's his screen name again? <laughs> Mr. Thriller Killer. Part time vegan. I don't oh. take fucking criticisms from anyone with Well, here's the names. deal. First of all, his name I is. I want to know your real name. If you're going to say okay. something shitty about me, I want to hear your real name, Bob. Government said, name. Tom. He's a personal trainer. He's 6'1. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Brown hair and brown eyes. Oh. So, Kelly, let, let's settle I'm down. Listening. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. Ro, what do you think? <laughs> really? Is he Jewish? Because <laughs> if he's Jewish, I could bring him home to my parents. He can't be too old. <laughs> Where is she? My father owns a restaurant in Israel. Uh, <laughs> my father owns a lot of real estate in Hoboken. <laughs> my father just owns. That's what he does all day is he owns. That's his screen name on Twitter, the owner. Um, <laughs> at the owner, 69. Oh, I can't wait till Lewis just disappears. I like, like, Lewis never came home. It's right Ro, after the fucking podcast comes out. Ro just taps into our system. Yeah. It's me, Ro. I tapped into your system. <laughs> Guys, I know you're recording right now. I Listen, don't know why I'm doing her voice, too. If you look into the into the logo with Bobby's head, I can see through those eyes. <laughs> I'm everywhere. We have Chris Tinkle in the house. Chris Tinkle. Chris Woo! Tinkle, formerly of... <laughs> Games of Thrones. Kelly said a funny. Kelly said a funny. Kelly said a funny. I can't take. I can't take that because I think that's what you called him last time he was here. No, please take it. What I north, need it. north of the Kelly. wall face? No, Mike. North of the wall face. This cocksucker. You mean one of those white pale, blue eyed motherfuckers? No, 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 one of the uh, the other ones. The, I love you, Jon Snow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, the yeah. Tickles wearing a fucking human skull over his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Joe Snow. I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about that bitch's tribe, right? That that fucking red ginger bitch tribe. Yeah. He's not one of us. Oh, don't you want to be on this podcast so you can get fucking ripped to shreds? That's oh, the best. I mean, Come on in here so your biggest insecurities will become fodder for our amusement. Uh, 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 your face looks like shit. I, Welcome to you know all, what, dude. I don't, we never said that. Well, we just compared him. Did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would. You took it too far, dude. Hey, I was just going to say he looks like he's fucking handy with a sword. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying he might have fought dragons yeah. at some point I don't in know. his life. I was saying he has an epic face. Uh, yeah. It was a goddamn compliment, Giannis. Yeah, some we're calling him Viking face, yeah, which is actually kind of cool. Giannis is like, that wouldn't fly in Miami. Let me unbutton my shirt. I'm I hope, sexy Giannis now. I hope this I'm show, down in Miami. I, 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 I hope he gets, you know, shirts. He starts wearing shirts where you flip the, yeah. co- the sleeve up and it's a different color. <laughs> and it just shows way too much of his yeah. chest yeah. unbuttoned. Yeah. It's not even a different color. It's like a, a pattern. Yeah, like no, a, he changes. He has a nickname. Six months in, he's going to start calling everyone Poppy. Yeah, he has <laughs> Cufflink Poppas. <laughs> yeah. How no, are you doing? Puppy, you want to come out to my house? <laughs> Get on the boat. Get on the boat. This is my friend Francesca. <laughs> Just a bunch I- of Latin chicks. <laughs> Only interested in his money. I'm gonna wear jelly sandals every yeah, day. You are. No, no. Oh. Jelly, jelly sandals and white uh, linen yeah. shorts. Uh, he opens up a shemel bar on fucking yeah. South Beach. <laughs> Hello, come into my club. Uh, you come like, on, we all have fun. You, you, like you, you like calamari? Yeah. Yeah. We got the best calamari. <laughs> oh, let me tell. <laughs> come in. We have Greek salads. Oh, <laughs> I bring the tradition of New York down to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know those glasses. Have, uh, mahi, those, mahi, those that fucking Brooklyn face glasses are out the window. Oh. He's got to get blue fucking contacts. Yeah. Oh yeah, blue get, contacts <laughs> and hair gel every day. Mm. Oh, but a lot. Uh, you know, wax every inch of your body. Maybe just fucking hairless Giannis. Maybe two, di- one diamond earring in each ear. But he's gonna be muscular, but not so much that he should get waxed. Yeah. But enough where you're like, ah, eh, you should probably this. Hello, uh, yeah. Miamians. Today the weather is coming in from the east. Cha 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 cha. Today the weather is perfect because it's Miami. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> 
<laughs> Every day is perfect in Miami. <laughs> I stopped wearing underwear three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me coming because my flipper flops <laughs> are on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have a dumb marlin over his fireplace. Uh, I just won't. I won't come to your house if I can't get there by boat. <laughs> <laughs> you and your stupid cigar boat. <laughs> I just won't. Uh, I cannot boat. park my boat uh, at your bungalow. <laughs> by the way, that's how white trash I am. It's a cigarette boat, and I called it a cigar boat. I'm all, yeah, you cigar boat or whatever. <laughs> you you I, look like a guy who used to work on a fishing boat for a summer. I, I you did. have that look. I, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You look like it. That was a long-winded fucking s- smash. <laughs> you look like a guy that used to in the spring work on a fishing. Well, it's boat. Miami on us now. He's not really a ball buster. He's more like a, just a call him South, Beach, back. Yeah. South Beach Papas. I can't wait till I do like the improv down there. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, let me see. He's got a booth. So, uh, reserved. So, so, so what's going on in your life? Where are you? I heard you had a baby. Yeah, you know I have a baby, you moron. Where'd your glasses go? I'll, I'll, have, like, I'll have like two girls. I'm like, ooh, that must be hard. I look like this, and the girls will just walk away. But Gian- Giannis, Giannis still can't get his five o'clock shadow away, so they have to just put extra your makeup on she just close up you can see it coming out like a tranny <laughs> ah they have to airbrush Giannis's fucking five o'clock shadow at fucking 10 in the morning <laughs> constantly keep him shaved like a zoo animal the shave it welcome breaks. to miami in the morning starting Giannis. <laughs> Is he Greek, Cuban, or Mexican? We don't know, but we don't care. <laughs> what, you know, what is the show? I just really imagine you walking down the beach, be like, "Hello, I'm Yannis Papas. Welcome to South Beach. Today, I'm going to show you the best places to eat, drink, and fuck." And then Ro comes up behind you. Hi, Yannis. I'm here too. My dad owns a beach, a house down the beach. You want to fuck? You're a comic, right? Look, my jeans go all the way up to my clavicles. <laughs> I had to, I had to take a piss. I had to start at my neck to unzip. <laughs> you know how it is to cut through denim with a buck knife? <laughs> Just <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, so back to your face. Oh, God. Listen. <laughs> I love you, John Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that thing you did with your tongue, John Snow? That's right. That's right. All right. Now, should I should I call this guy? Who? What the guy who shit on? Yeah. The show? Yeah. Yeah. Call him up. I'll talk to him. Give me the. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, so I'm not basically, Bro, I got like ten tweets at me saying they missed me last week and the show was boring without. <laughs> There's me. no way you got ten tweets. Look it up, motherfucker. No. Well, first of all, right. a lot of people. Would you get real? No, no. Don't. I'm not complimenting. No, 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 no. Go say what you're gonna say. I got a lot of tweets that people loved the episode. Really? Yeah. So was it mostly hate you? But that was also your last week. Yeah, the one you were on. Yeah, now that's the week before. Dumb, dumb. Uh, oh, last week. Last week, just... I had Gary Gullman, Pat Dixon, uh, Joe oh. Zimmerman. Oh, so let me apologize to that guy. I thought he was talking about my episode. No, you <laughs> insecure <laughs> fucking Miami Heat. Sorry, Vegan 107 or whatever your fucking name is. Um, <laughs> Part-time vegan. Well, he... <laughs> he... Um, oh. Yeah, it, it got really deep. It got really... Like, four of the guys... Four guys in the room have Alan as a therapist. It's three weeks into no therapy. <laughs> and yeah. and we started... To, I mean, Gary sat down and snapped on Zimmerman right away Yeah, for laughing at some shit. It just got very deep. And then I opened up about something which I, look, I, I wasn't really going to talk about, but, you know, I had, some, I had a falling out in my family. And I talked about it, and it got fucking deep. And nobody was here to lighten. There was nobody, you know, when you say something, usually on this show, somebody will go, you know, I'll say something, like, you know, someone will say something funny yeah. off of something I say, D, and they break the monotony of mm-hmm. what they oh, say, so right? Got, okay, you drilled down <clears> a little bit. It got on a little bit, but, you know, certain people liked it. Mo- a lot of people liked it, but, you know, so a couple people. This guy, this is the problem I have, ready? Mm. This guy actually was like, yeah, that show sucked. Um, it wasn't funny and something like it was just you fuck, you guys just uh, ranting for two hours. Uh, I, uh, you know, whatever. Big fan of the show, but last week's episode sucked. Yeah. It's like, okay, I get that, and I'm going to respond to that yeah. because I don't think it sucked. I think it was different. Right. I thought it's, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, and he was like, dude, I'm a big fan. I don't know why the fuck you can't take criticism. I took the criticism. I'm criticizing the criticism. I can do that too, you fucking idiot. Yeah. I have a fucking opinion. <laughs> this is not the way it works. You don't just criticize something and that's it. It dies right there. I take your criticism and work on it. That's not the fuck how it works. <laughs> I get to talk back, I you just, fuck. I just imagine you with a ledger 
and a pen writing down all the criticisms and going through them. Like, mm-hmm. well, no ranting. No, no ranting on the next episode. <laughs> well, here's the deal is that some people, it's like when, when you, somebody busts your balls on Twitter and you say something back about their kid's face and then they go, Jesus Christ, dude, I was just kidding. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. fuck you, dude. Yeah. Take it. Oh, yeah. Take it. Take the beating, dad. I don't, I didn't come at you. You came at me. Dad, your kid's face is fucking gross. Looks like Chris Dinkle's face, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't oh, know why you Why would you say that, man? Because he's called his face like, gross before. No, no didn't. I didn't. No, you Nobody guys are all... <laughs> I did not. I Giannis nobody... called his face gross before. That's why Miami said it, Giannis. Giannis. He's too far gone. Giannis said his it looked face, like shit. His face totally it, doesn't work yeah. in Miami. Uh, if you're going to go to Miami, yeah. we're going to have to do something with you. You have a very just... Jacksonville face. I do have a Jacksonville face. Really? Really? That's not calling his face shit? You just said he had a Jackson, which is true. It looks like he wrestles alligators in Jacksonville. Oh, you down in the swamp. You guys want to see a live data? My name is Chris Tinker. Welcome to the morning show. Welcome to Jacksonville in the morning. I'm gonna, my co-host is a gator. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it to my friend down south. Giannis Pappas. Hello. Welcome Hello, everybody. to South in the morning. Welcome to Wepa 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 with Giannis Papa. What's going up north? <laughs> Today we have a lot of rain down south. <laughs> what? a change. What's going on in the north of the state? Ooh, well, the gators headed south, which means a storm coming. There ain't no storm coming down here because it's Miami. <laughs> it goes away. Go away. The, the storm come by, they pass away. Though. Doesn't Roe have a place in both? Does she have a- I'm here in the swamps of Jacksonville, Florida with Chris Tinkle. He's not a very good-looking comedian. <laughs> I have a friend down in Miami who said his face is gross. I don't want to fuck him. But I might fuck him anyway because he's funny, and I think it would bother my dad. He's Jewish, and he owns stuff. Unless I get an internship at the John Stewart show. <laughs> Did you, is that what you got? Is that why? I think somewhere else. Yeah, I'm one of those. The Daily Show. Daily Show. Was it Daily Show? Yeah. yeah. You got a face Wait, she's climbing. Like- Yana should date her. Zing! Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. You didn't think I was fine? Crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say whatever I want. Well, I'm in therapy now, so I, I don't have to have people. Like I was me. really into Giannis, but then I started to be into this Jesse May chick. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> successful. Very <laughs> successful. I saw her at the MTV Video Music Awards. Yeah, I, I was into YouTube characters a while ago. <laughs> now I like stars That's on TV. TV. <laughs> YouTube characters are so 2011. Now I like people who have real success. <laughs> Jesse May, yeah. 2014. Fucking hell. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wee wee. I tell you what, though. You can tell who's getting the fucking brunt out of it by whoever goes silent. It was Chris silent for 10 minutes. Now we just said I just see him. Just fucking Terry Shivo face over here. He's fucking Terry Shivo podcasting. Take the abuse. You're just like, we're both like pretending to smile. God, I feel like we're doing a benefit for an accident that Giannis got in with the way he's putting his mic on his chest. Just moaning. That's what happened when you come in. Did someone change his back? Bag. I think just, it's overflowing with you just shit. You put him out of his misery. You just go through rounds of abuse where you just have to try to yeah. smile. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, I just watched it. Girl Code and they said, once you outgrow your boyfriend in your oh respective careers, you must leave him. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Is, <laughs> Girl Code. You know who I am? I This really is. It's like the karate kid. I'm the guy that's like, I think he's had enough, Johnny. And yeah. Lewis is like, I'll tell you what he's had enough. <laughs> like Lewis, Lewis for the week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lewis is just a goddamn no, barbarian. Surrender. Lewis, Lewis, yeah. Oh. Here's the deal. Like a row voice, row voice, very funny. And I thought, like, a, just a little taste was good, a little mean. And then you, Jan, he's turning. Lewis is turning into a goddamn Lewis character. Lewis thinks by doing a voice and being really mean, it's okay because there's a voice. Dude, I'm gonna it. fucking own this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like Larry the Cable Guy. I'm just gonna go out as row from now on. This is my new thing. Really? Yeah. But no one's gonna know. Yeah, no one's. Start like, saying the N word. With the hat on, I look like a college kid. <laughs> <laughs> Without the hat on, I might rape a college kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's been My name is Ro. My dad was stabbed. <laughs> I'm Ro. My, I got the family history I of Batman. I can't wait to watch her face, what, like react to Lewis doing the impression in front that's, of her. That's not, <laughs> I don't sound like that. What do you mean? Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I yes, do. Yes, I do. You, ba- you, ah, know, you confused me. You're, right? you're basically saying she sounds like George Burns. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but, how you doing? Like this, uh, crazy, you uh, sound. Tinkle, crazy say heaven. something. I don't do. I don't know who this fucking chick is. Uh, <laughs> I have no go. idea who Tinkle, she is. Tinkle, I want to talk about this. Why? You, why? What happened to you and Lewis? Oh, this is the good stuff. Ooh. Yes. What happened? 
<laughs> what? Why are you not here? What happened to you? Why did you? What's going on with you and Louis? Let me interject. He crossed too many lines. Oh. <laughs> What happened to you? You were on the fucking show. I was on was, uh, Hammer Fisting. You were on Hammer yeah. Fisting. With Lewis? Jerry <laughs> Garland. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lewis just can't be on the same show, I think. Well, you're on the same show now, so that's, yeah, well, that's this is true. All, yeah, well, he, kind no, of. here's Fine. the truth. Me, I, I'm, oh, what was he saying? The I'm, lies? I'm a difficult person to work with. <laughs> you're a difficult. No, hey, stop. Stop, Lewis. We know. Don't. <laughs> we're your friends. Yeah. We know you suck. Yeah, you're. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah. I made this podcast on how many hours earlier for you yeah. to be here, and you show up late. Three minutes late. And by the way, every time Kelly texts me something shitty like that, I just curse her. I know it's coming from you, but I just curse her name into the air, and I wish death upon her. So why? Because I, it just fucking made me so angry. Kelly why do? You, why are you fucking? With I don't like not her middlemaning your shitty messages. No, she's not. She says them exactly like you say them. So then I get furious. Yeah, I say, Bobby said, if you're not here in five minutes, then yeah. you don't get to come out. Yeah, we're going to lock the fucking door. And doors. then I start screaming at the ca- tab- taxi driver that I'm going to punch Kelly in her fat thigh. She's so like, what? I don't care. Why are you <laughs> yelling at me? I don't care. I shouldn't have picked you up. Oh, my God. Why we're a new character. Dan's got, Dan's got a new one. Dan's got a new one. Dan's got a new one. Joe DeRosa's rolling in his grave. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Roses. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, hey, the fucking dude's got six now. What is it? Six, fingers, seven. Fingers, fingers, fingers. <laughs> Fingers, 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 Billy Bob, Billy Bob, fingers, 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 Billy Bob, Billy Bob, dude, 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 fingers, fingers, dude. I like that, the DeRosa song. Someone doesn't make a song out of it. Whose house? Uh, Lewis's house. You with the baby there? Uh, was the baby there? I baby was no. There was no. First of all, there was no almost fist fight. It's not about me treating a guest like shit. All of this is just objection. easy. Objection. Why are you talking uh, to your lawyer? Uh, objection. Uh, uh, objection. First off, guys. Objection. My Shh. Hey, objection. order in the court. Objection. objection. Go ahead. Objection. My client is saying. Overruled. <laughs> your Honor, I didn't even make the point. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just. <laughs> He's saying that Louis J. Gomez. Overruled again. Lacks people skills. That's what he's saying. Sustained, sustained. <laughs> your Honor, sustained. Your Honor, your Honor, your Honor counsel just made an invalid point. Yes. Uh, first off, uh, might I bring up to the court's attention that yeah. uh, the uh, arguing counsel is leaving soon, so his opinion makes no sense. I don't That's trust any of my uh, All he's got is palm trees and cocaine that is in his true. brain. <laughs> All right, real quick, guys. Off, I don't want to defend this. Hang anymore. on. We have to pay for this TV show, <laughs> so I have to do. TV show? Uh, TV show. Shut up. Hey. You know what I mean. Um, all right, we gotta. Uh, I gotta do a really quick. We're gonna take a break out of this real quick, guys. Talks amongst each other, but very lightly. Um, all right, right now, dra- <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> like council. Yeah. All right, so yeah. All right. All right, we're back, fellas. We're back. We're all back. Right, I spoke with my lawyer. All right, you are, guys. Uh, uh, rise. All rise, the Honorable Judge Robert Kelly. Dude, you have you guys have no idea how this show is about to get. Okay, here this we go. Here about, we go. This is going to be the greatest. Me, um, you know what, dude? That ever happened. Excuse me, right now. Can you get off your phone, sir? I will. The yeah, judge is here. Yes, Holy I'm sorry, Your Honor. Shit. Just responding to a very uh, pertinent and time important email with another client. Really, with another client? Yeah. Who's the other client? I don't know. Actually, it's. I, apparently, you, I'm supposed to have. What's gonna happen? Yeah. I'm supposed to be somewhere right now, and I'm not. Where? <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to like go to Frost's office. For what? I don't know. I'm supposed to have a meeting. And like, what? Who? I don't know. I don't know where this got set up. I don't, I don't know if I blacked out for four days. <laughs> Are you going? Are you staying? No. <laughs> I'm staying here. Are you all right? Don't choke. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Excited. This is about to get so good. Okay, here. Bobby, here. This is about to get so now, good. Now, this is, this is what I'm saying right this now. This is about to get Do, crazy. All right. <laughs> hang on. I don't think it's going to be hang crazy. On. But. Hang on. Hang on. Don't. Stop. Why is your fat jiggling? Sit down. What I tell you about fucking making noise. With your fat feet. Stop it. Me and Lewis are wearing the same t-shirt today. We're like a, like a singlet with like slits. And yeah, you guys both shitting. You guys, Lewis, do, you guys both look like you guys are uh, workers in the. In the is anybody going to compliment Kelly on coming out of the closet and being a lesbian haircut? <laughs> her, 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 she yeah, finally. Yeah, that's great. She finally got her fucking. Uh, finally, I'm done with Kelly's Dick. dressed like Lilith Fair. Yeah, if you, for the people at home, you don't know she is dressed yeah. like she cut off in a motorcycle. Tight okay. jeans. Yeah. Right? Yeah, she's a tiger. Arr. She looks like Melissa tiger. Etheridge. She yeah. looks like an Ani DeFranco fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. She looks like she stopped being a man after she was sexually she assaulted has, when she, she was She has 15. a partridge family haircut. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then a, I look great. Shut is up. That right. I, is that an I have a the hang tiger on, shirt? Hang on no, one I second. Bought it. it was like ten bucks. Oh. Uh, can we just stop for one second? I have to check on this. Chris, are you okay mentally? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> this you guys know Chris. Chris Scopo. Yeah, yeah. Scopo, Scopo, Scopo. <laughs> no, I know Not Chris yet. Scopo. I've been a fan for years. Uh, I like Chris. He's early, early, early work. But this is what drives me. I love me. his early work. This yeah. is what scares me about From Chris. four months ago. This is what scares me about Chris is that he's uh, he's actually, he's so nice and calm in his personality, I feel like he's plotting murders. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, he's, he's slowly deciding how he's going to pick you apart. Yeah, like he's he's got that hair is perfect. Yeah, he's, he's got like, that American psycho look. He's yeah. already got a plot in the Dexter. woods he looks in like Westchester he likes ready for yeah. you. I guarantee if we swab under his fingernails, we'll get somebody oh, else's DNA. Some, oh my God, Female. this cold case is reopened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? He looks Beyond, like he's got a body I want you to get on the microphone right now. Get on the mic. Get on the fucking mic. Get on the mic right, Here son. we go. Bring it down. Uh, Talk into beat. it. Here we go. Mm. All right, Chris, you there? Mm. Let me talk into the mic. No. no. Turn it on. Why is the mic not on? Kelly? Yeah. Where's that mic go? Huh? <laughs> Talking to the mic. Hello, hello. Nothing. I'm fucking bullshit. Aww, Did you unplug you. something? Anyways, what the fuck is that? Where's that coming from? Chris. Is, yeah, is that you? I unplugged it. This was working last time we were in here. <laughs> I obviously didn't unplug it, you fucking jerk what off. Don't say, Kelly, that's my problem with Kelly Festuca. Someone unplugged it, and then she kind of like, uh, glan- she's not even kidding. She kind of glanced over her shoulder like it was. That thing, you're talking about the one that was like that on the. Uh, All right. Uh, hit that microphone right there for me, that orange mic for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's on. on. Hit, hit it again. On. It's th- keep hitting it. Chris, go. It's on. Kelly, unplug yeah. this one and plug Feel it. Feel that. Just give him Kelly's mic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Two birds. <laughs> yeah. always, Two birds. Whenever you put the guy on, on who's sitting over there on the mic, you always think it's going to be for more, for more than three seconds. <laughs> like, we got to hook him up now. He's going to say three things, and he's going to go sit back on the chair. <laughs> I'm Try sad now. you're leaving. Try now. You're I'm, a fucking asshole. This is one of the things I'm going to miss the most. You're Can an you, asshole. I'm going to be back on Fridays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll fucking we do, change everything change for you. Everything yeah. For yeah, no, I'll stop going on the road so you come back. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. I'm back. Hello. Bobby, my Hello, baby. Bobby. I need you to start uh, starting at 6.30. If that's possible. Uh, can I, I cr- call in at least? Or Bobby, some can shit? you guys bring you this better. to Queens? You be- <laughs> Is there any way we can just do this in Astoria? I like to do it laying on my couch. <laughs> if possible. Fucking Giannis, you're an asshole. <laughs> you really are. Your fucking morning routine. I can't, uh, wait. I can't wait till fucking four months in when dummy's sick of getting up at fucking four thirty in the morning, driving. Oh, uh, nobody's on the road. Then he has to go home and sleep. He can't even enjoy the night because he's got to get up again. This you fucking know, asshole. And the interns uh, don't even care about uh, him anymore. Oh, uh, nobody cares. And then all of a sudden, he's got to fucking cook some fucking shitty rice and bean dish again. On the <laughs> mo- welcome uh, back, uh, yeah. welcome back, Juan Santiago oh. from Juan. Juan, I, what are you yeah. gonna? Teach us today. <laughs> it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. You know, Yanni, some people don't know that black beans is actually a Cuban tradition. Oh, is really? it? Oh, wow. We'll be gonna, right back after the break. God, is it going to be horrible? Yeah, it's going to be, be so horrible when I got two six foot Cuban models I, in my bed. That's uh, not there's this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With dicks. With dicks. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, God. surprise. So what? Hey, uh, true that. <laughs> hey. hey. Someone has the bird cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, Chris, get on the mic right there. What's Chris up? is our intern while Kelly's away, Kelly. maybe replacing Kelly. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, right. hopefully. What so do you mean Ke- when Ro's away? Well, no, Ro's, Ro's gone. She's gone? Ke- well, Kelly- I'm never coming back there. Kelly- you had your chance. Kelly is on. Uh, is my right-hand man. Yeah. She is my... my- <laughs> well, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> dude's shoulders. Chris is <laughs> gone. Oh, that's a way of putting it. Chris Kelly is, is the no, fucking... Kelly is an uh, integral part of this machine that makes this go. Absolutely. Yeah. You understand? Unfortunately, um, yes, I yeah. do. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Up, if she could get funny, it would just be holy shit. Yeah. I don't know. She maybe would stop drawing fouls. She's like the person on the NBA team you put in a hack a shack. <laughs> Let me tell you from experience you do not want her to get any funnier, or she's going to leave you and start <laughs> <running> <laughs> Girl code. She will start and leave her own and make her own radio show. <laughs> oh, shit. God, that's uh, good. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. You're I, want, right. I wanted to get that one in and I wanted to get this one in. Just came Chris on. Scopo, he's been doing comedy for two months. Perfect candidate for his own show on MTV. <laughs> <laughs> the hits don't stop. The hits don't stop. The hits don't stop. Giannis Papas. Oh, I hope you're ready, South Beach, because that's coming to you yeah. Yeah. in the morning. This is, 
Yeah, MTV. <laughs> we churn them and burn them. We get them in young and we fucking Is send there them out. Is we can take his molars out? MTV. It's all about your face. <laughs> what do you think about Katy Perry? <laughs> Katy Perry's. Is that cheese on your underwear <laughs> or is that da 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 da? Boys are weird. <laughs> Girls are different. That, that should have been on video right there. Girl go to Bobby Kelly. <laughs> Girl go to Bobby Kelly. <laughs> let me tell you something about Geico. Yo, let me tell you, chicks did the good. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Cashing all them chicks. <laughs> all them chicks. Yeah, yeah, but you're on the cusp of your Dude, face. Do you understand your face. You're know, right on the edge of getting kicked off. They, I am. They, I am so uncared about. <laughs> They're just like, who's this grizzled old man with gray? <laughs> He's grays in his temple, and I'm like, you know, let me tell you about alcoholism for 12 <laughs> years. Huh? I got my dick sucked behind an auto zone in a dark Stratus. And They're like, that's not. Fun and sexy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, when you're getting brains from a fat chick <laughs> that you picked up on a radio this station. Fucking, this fucking, this brain. Let it, me tell you something. Isn't guy code like uh, urban best week ever? Yeah. It's like a black. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm black, though. I, I, yeah, I'm no, but I mean because only black, like most black. Yeah, but they all people act watch it. black. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like it's Andrew Schultz, Pete Davidson. It's mostly watched by black kids, right? Well, here's the deal. God bless. Uh, God bless. God bless all of them for the success. Yeah. How's that? Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on from fucking <laughs> the uh, the genius that fucking MTV is. Quick, Bobby, girl the code. Men should buy. Men should pay for dinner. Girl code. I go. think men should pay for. Di- I mean, no, I pay for my own dinner. I don't want to be tainted. Pay attention to say, right, ladies. Girl code. Girl, 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 what do you, what do you think about dating somebody in the same field as you? You know what, as long as they're <laughs> above you in that field and you can somehow climb up uh, and become more successful in that field, I don't see any problem with it. They should also be named Dan Soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my girl God. Code. Oh my God. That was like, it's like, uh. Uh, anyways, Chris, I got to get to Chris. Chris, listen to me. Once those checks Wait, clear. which Chris? Oh, really? Scope, are we doing our trial? No, we're going back to trial in a minute. I'm going back. We're at a commercial break. We're going to Chris, who stayed at my house, helped me save my life this week. Uh, stayed at my house. What? You can't stay. I'm the guy who stays at your house and no, helps you, you save your life. No, you don't. You're the guy. I save life. I save your life. You've never saved my life. You're the guy. I saved a knife. your life when you needed a place to stay. <laughs> saved my life? Yeah, I saved you. <laughs> You stayed at my place for two weeks while you had, you were homeless. Remember, Dude, I had that the Jesus. opposite in my head the yeah. whole time. Oh, I didn't know that. I was saving your life. No, I didn't want you at my apartment ruining my tile. That I, I had to ruin your fucking tile. Yeah, you fucking no, did. No, I didn't, dude. I know it was you, because you're fat foot. Don't put the mic away. <laughs> sit the fuck down. Put your wide uh, hips down. Oh, yeah. You don't Look sit. at that right there. You want your yeah. mic off? All right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis and is built like one of those wrestlers in like the 80s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That He's used to go and you didn't know right. his name. Yeah. And, Can he, I? and he would lose, yeah. He's like the Brooklyn right. Brawler. I have to get to the second. Horowitz. <laughs> Moondog Rex. Versus, yeah. Moondog Rex. Yeah, All right, here, listen, listen. Ted Sabarone. <laughs> Chris, Chris was gracious enough to help save my life. Dawn came for the first year. We went on the vacation. Dawn came Mark, for the first time? Good job, Chris. <laughs> Seriously, honestly. Mark, shut. Oh, bro, you don't step on don't fucking. Think. You stepped over the line, motherfucker. Bro, I got to do this? <laughs> <laughs> listen. No, dude, he's on a roll. That was Roy saying that. Hey, listen. I, I did Marco Island. Yeah. yeah. And I've never enjoyed it, but it's a place you should bring. Ah. Ah. Oh. You motherfuckers. <laughs> this oh. train don't stop, does it? This ah. train don't stop. Nah, dude, you're fine. You'll meet somebody down there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What? I found you very funny, Mr. Poppins. Oh, my God. You're so we're having, enjoyable. We're having, we want to split a haddock with me at the <laughs> Captain Bro. <laughs> so you know what? I can actually get you some decent bagels. Um. <laughs> I know it's very hard to find you. Well, you're down know, from New York. You know she's going to listen to this. Who? And I just want you to know I haven't said one thing. Who? Who's she? My ex girlfriend. She's way too she, famous to listen no, to this. She did listen to How the last one. First of all, she, yeah, she listened to this. She gave me shit about it. Somebody, I, like, I didn't say one first of all, thing wrong. I should have had you and her on, and I could have I could have made this better. 
First of all, she, how she did you get a... Jesse May on the show? Yeah. Dude, can I just say, it looked like Giannis just threw up in his own mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Giannis, how did she know? Right. Did she go looking uh, for trouble? Or... I don't want to get into it. Can That's we move on? Business. I want to move on. I wish From you Giannis. I got no yes. ill feelings. She's doing Me? great. I love MTV. Yeah. I love the work they're doing. Oh, just like Jesse May. I think it's making everything better. MTV made you become I just got one question for Guy Code. Yes. Manning and Snowden, the two whistleblowers that told the secrets about the NSA. That's totally breaking guy code. I want to know if they broke guy code. Yo, bro, man. Let me, oh, just, yeah, bro. let me just be honest with you. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Just don't do that, bro. Hey, here's the deal, man. If the United States is guy, you yeah. broke guy code. You yeah. broke guy code. Yeah, man. I don't care if they broke the law. Hey. I want to know if they broke guy code. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. They did. I'm an American, and I say, yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. That's like do when- you eat, Do you eat hamburgers <laughs> on 4th of July? Yeah, do you like then French you fries? Guy code. Yeah, even though the word French is in it, Yeah. and it doesn't make sense, but I'll say it anyways, and and kids will go, that was funny, but, and tweet me, but, they, they fucking did! <laughs> but I will say this. Fuck. <laughs> Hashtag girl count. I do, I do have fun doing the show. <laughs> no, nah, dude, it's a it's great- It's a well done show. It's a great opportunity. listen funny people on it. Great opportunity for people, young yeah. comedians yeah. Yeah. to actually get exposed yeah. where they wouldn't. It would take you- If you didn't have guy code, you'd have to actually- Go to the clubs, work at the clubs, get become talented. a get a very become a very talented comedian. Go on the road, become a middle, of, <laughs> then become a headliner in the natural way. It would take around 10, 15 years <laughs> where you're really talented and everything you get you deserve based on your fucking talent yeah. as a comedian. Yeah, that's if but now wife. you can have thirty eight minutes of good stuff and go headline across the country. And then when guy codes over because you got a wrinkle or a crow's foot, <laughs> you uh, you're a fucking nobody. Good for you. Enjoy your life because you can't act. Anyway. Are you talking, I felt like you were talking right at me. That's hilarious. And I, I just want to let you know, Dude, I deserved, have a decent 43. That deserved more. That Listen. Well, you got a wrinkle, and now you... Uh, can you imagine that someone comes in, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was squinting. It was whoa. the lights. Yeah, like, no. Get the body. Yeah. Get the body. Like, like, you can see the girls, like, in girl code, I'm afraid to smile, because yeah. it might show a wrinkle. They're just, like, someone's trying to make them laugh, and they're, no. they're holding their face. That's because a gay guy in between just shoots them up with Botox. <laughs> I saw a wrinkle. Urn, 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 <laughs> just urn. Red, just Little red light. guy just flies in with wings. Oh my god, where is it? <laughs> right where here. Is it? She Proceed. smiled and there was a wrinkle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hello. Boys are weird. Bo- bo- boys are weird. Boys are weird. Girls are different. Welcome back to the relationship. I can't talk because I have botulism in my fucking neck. Anyways. God no, seriously, that's actually fucking good for them. I love I love that uh it's great that people get success, good or bad, whether it fails or not. You'll, you, it's, it's not up to the business whether you fucking make it or not. It's up to you. Yeah. So you can have that. You can do great, and it's, you know this that it's going to come to an end. Everything in this business does end at one point. You no, move the fuck MTV on. MTV never ends. So <laughs> I want to let you know, Tabitha Soren's doing great right now. Dan Soder's <laughs> out there hitting the road, becoming a champion. Yeah. The only way I know how, which is the long road, <laughs> that hard road. So when you want to find me, I'll be in the pits of despair. Fair. And come Survivor go. Series, go. I'm going to be headlining a tough 50 minutes. I'm challenging anyone else on all the code shows. You want to take a run at the kid, you bring your hook. Because we going down in the slump. I don't know. Again, I can't. All right, listen, man. Oh, oh, man. All right, listen, we're back. I, it, it kills me that you're leaving. Really? I, I'm no, I'm not this. talking. I'm talking to Chris Tinkle. Oh, you're sorry, not going to be <laughs> back. I mean, really? <laughs> no, the podcast is getting kicked off. Oh, uh, shit. No, I'm not kidding. Listen, here's the deal. I forgot I, Chris Tinkle was here for a second. <laughs> I didn't. Um, what are you, the industry? <laughs> listen, here. <laughs> Ah, oh, that one made me sweat. <laughs> oh, that's going to make the news coming up even more, I more need, brutal right, for you, Lewis. Right, listen to me. I, Boom. I, I, shut up. Don't do it yet. Okay. We're getting back okay. to it. Listen, I, I want to get back to the court. I, we're yeah. getting back yeah. to the court. It's gonna be we're so going good. back to court. We have two things we have to get through it's on this show. It's time to fucking... We, I can't wait listen, to fucking we, fuck Lewis's world up. Listen. How much he's what? He got his own me. XM series? Listen, no, shush. No, don't ruin it. Shut up. Shut up. I know that already. Lewis, shut up. Here we I go. I wanted to say it. Hang God on. Damn it. Sh- well, you wouldn't shut the fuck up. That's why Sorry, I started buddy. out. If you shut up when I said shut up, why am I turning into a fucking wrestling manager? Turning into Roe. Yeah, I'll tell you row now. <laughs> Let him know, Bobby. If what you funny. shut up when you should have shut up, then he wouldn't have fucking said nothing. Yeah, when I bring this cane down <laughs> on all the people. I right, listen, uh, Chris, you stayed at my place for the weekend. You helped me out. 
right? Yeah. I want to know, and I want you to be honest with me. This is where because I now know this. I could possibly already know the answer to this. Okay. You understand that? Yeah. So know that I'll know. I could possibly know if you're lying or not. Okay. Do you understand me? Yeah. This is. Uh, did you bang in my apartment? I did not bang. Did you jerk off in my apartment? Not jerk off. Liar. You did not watch any porn in my did not apartment. Watch any porn? Liar. Dude, how did you know? Oh, you know I did. did. You know, I did. I did get a blowjob. Oh, oh! You piece of shit. Now, when Kelly minute, sucked your dick, came right? From a blowjob. <laughs> what? Dude, if you you ever fucking say that again, oh. I will knock you the fuck out. You, Bobby, first of all, you can't be. Give mad me that, that pipe. Give me the pipe. Don't, don't give, give me the, the pipe. Ooh, I'm gonna no, throw it at you. No, I'm gonna don't. fucking throw some. Don't throw uh -oh. anything at me. It got real. Oh, oh god, oh, fucking Kelly asshole. Got, <laughs> Kelly got oh, douched. Don't throw anything else at me, please. Oh boy. Listen to me. Watch your fucking step. All right, I'm joking. You no, yo, fuck you. I've never fucking yes, said that have. about Beatrice. Yes, you have. No, listen, I didn't. Listen to the show. Lewis you have. goes. Lewis goes too far. He listen. He goes and you gotta far. shut I won't, up. I won't, I won't go that far again. But shut the fuck up. You are a line crosser, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I just got you had no parents to tell you where the line was. <laughs> I think I fixed the static thing with the water. I, I really did. I think I fixed it. And then I'm going to touch a fucking wire and get, my heart's going to explode. For you, for you at home, <laughs> right, uh, that was a serious moment uh, no. that happened in uh, Robert's no, face. No, it was I threw water at him. They're going to be okay. tweeting. He threw <laughs> a bottle of water. Anyway, at me. let's get back to the huge interviews that you land here at. You know what, dude? When we let's talk about Chris Scopo some more. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys at home are really, really interested yeah, to find out. Bitchy. Someone's in their cubicle going, what happened with Scopo? What happened with Chris Scopo? All right, here we go. Should we call this guy? Yeah. What, Before, well, what are we going to do we're, this? we're going back in. We've got another hour and a half. Don't worry about it. We're going back into it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have an hour and a half. All right. Uh, all right. Listen, here we go. Ready? Kelly. Uh, you ready? Uh, yeah. Kelly, write this number down. Hey. Kelly's all over the place. Oh, Kelly, right, I got her wet. That's why. <laughs> She's like a gremlin. I got her hair wet. <laughs> Blowjobs get Kelly wet? Kelly Kelly got her hair did, and she's not going to wash it for a month, so it stays the way the first day <laughs> she got it did. All right, listen. Ready? Kelly, what are you doing? She's trying to clean up the water. The water? All right. Everyone knows water and electricity <laughs> don't right. go together. I'm going to fucking, I swear to God, <laughs> Lewis. When babies are coming out in Australia, we make them come out faster. Watch your fucking step. <laughs> putting them in a puddle. I fucking said Shut I wouldn't up. make any more fucking jokes about Watch it. Watch your step, There's stupid a, asshole. There is a lot of yelling. I swear on this to God. And thou shalt give it. Thou know. shalt fucking take it the way. You understand me? Remember when you said you, you would never do that? Remember shut when up. You said you don't fucking do that. Who? Bob, you don't give people stuff and then take it away. I'm gonna take it away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take yeah. that fucking mic away. Oof. Fucking Guys. send you down your fucking road. How's Seven that? Seven more mics in here, motherfucker. Mom and dad. Well, goddamn, we showed him. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Electricity. Now I know. Now I know why Chris. T I know what. Tri that's, I get yeah, Chris exactly. Tickle now. He's a fucking line crosser. He is. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Call me line crosser. Right, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Here we go. Here we go. You're a line crosser. Here we go. Here we go. This here at SummerSlam. You guys hear this? You can hear it. Yeah, we can hear it. Everybody. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk to the half vegan three hundred and seven. <laughs> Vegan Blast 89. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Why is he not picking up his phone? I don't know. <laughs> he just got ignored. What, what is, what, what is, uh, ignored. What is uh, I'm going to answer later. Star 67? This is Kelly's phone number, right? Just leave a message. He'll call you back. Say hi. This is the biggest phone call you'll ever get in your life. Well, come on. How do you know? He's in the entertainment business. Yeah, oh, turns out, he? yeah he's Pat yeah. Sajak's nephew. Oh. He actually. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I called him half a fag earlier. Hey, no, he, know, he, actually, he actually um, is in the, it says entertainer. Oh, so you know he's huge if he said well, entertainer. Well, you don't know. He could, it could be. Yeah. I just want to. I just have a little moment of being corporate, Dan. Yeah. And I just want to say I apologize to MTV for anything I might have. Are called. you shitting me? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun to do. Though. I was like watching your face Hello? drop. Hello. Hello. What's going on? It's not. Got <laughs> 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 you, Lewis. Got you. Yes. How was it going? Because <laughs> that's what I imagined it would sound like, like, like Lewis. Oh my God! He's wow. an entertainer. Good hang song, on. buddy. He's entertaining. That's how he answers his phone. Hang on, hang on. You. 
don't realize what you just called. Is that the fucking? Leave a message. Leave a message. All right. Hey, uh, what's up? Hey, this vegan. Is, vegan guy. This is. <laughs> that's not his name. You're fucking dead, vegan. Hang, uh, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is. Uh, hang the phone up, Bobby Kelly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is the You Know What Dude podcast. We were supposed to call you. You're fucking dead, meat eater. <laughs> not meat eater. <laughs> Not, I uh, hate how he fucking corrects himself on the fly. Meat eat, I mean, non meat eat. I hate the thing that you don't eat because you don't consume products made by animals. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Shh. Hello? Hey, I uh, just missed your call. Yeah, who, the, who, this is uh, the You Know What Dude podcast. That's Robert Kelly. Okay, what's it's, up, man? It's Robert. Oh, wow, he's hang really on. blown by. Hang, hang on. It's he's Robert. blown away. He's I would have been excited without that episode last week. <laughs> hang on. We got we got Giannis in the room. We got Dan Soda. We got uh, Kelly Festuca. And we got uh, Chris Tinkle. Um, and Ro. And we got Ro. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? I want to get your dick sucked. Nice. Uh, uh, I, know every, I know every one of those people except uh, I'm not that familiar with Chris Tinkle. Uh, thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being, I'm just, That's uh, why he's no longer on the Hammer for Same podcast. Find out some more about you. Well, first, oh, first of I'll all, first of all, I want to know this. I want to know your thing says entertainer. What do you do? What What do you? How are you entertainer? I make balloon animals. Not you. Uh, well, <laughs> not you, honest. No, I was meeting him. What says uh, entertainer? On your On your um, Twitter account. Oh yeah, I, I play some music. Um. um I just got into stand up. I've done some improv. Uh, 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 you gotta change it from entertainer to loser. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I'm joking. We break balls here. That's what we do. If improv. He, if Kelly can still call himself a comedian, he can still call himself an entertainer. Oh, God. <laughs> That's He's like it. No, he sounds trades. like a jack of all trades. Yeah, that's right, amazing. Listen, it sounds listen. like he has an accent. It sounds a bit like my So audience. here's the deal. This is my point to you, ready? What's your name, first of all? I'm not calling you vegan. Uh, part-time vegan. That was just meant to be funny because everybody's a part-time vegan. All right, what's your I'm name? Glass of water. Uh, Corey. Do it on stage? Corey, and you're black, right? Oh my God, is this like this is like the, the 2012 census? Why does that matter? Yeah, I'm black. Well, it does matter because I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. What are you fucking ashamed of it? Yeah, go I'm to black. a better school. No, no, I'm not ashamed. Yeah. So just answer the question, go fucking to, yeah. Go to it, a better school. I, I need to have more black people on the show, and I can consider this one of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, when I when okay. I get Michael shit. Michael Trey's way not, too far gone to come he's back. Working on a, he's working on a hair weed sponsor right now. Of, of the show. What? Say it again. What'd you say? What is it? I'm sorry, I can't hear everybody when they're speaking, so I apologize. No, it's okay. Um, in terms oh. of my, uh, no, it's, it's hard. To, um, in terms of my opinion of the show, I, did, I didn't see how, whether I was black, Puerto Rican, or white, was relevant to my opinions of... We take you more seriously if you're white. <laughs> but yeah, that's Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> We're so starting. Far, we're starting a podcast basketball league, <laughs> <laughs> and we're looking for a good ringer. So yeah. We have to play Mark Maron's podcast tomorrow. Yeah. So we need. <laughs> uh, uh, that will be easy. The, be the, 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 the black stereotype basketball joke would work if I was black American. I'm not. I'm black Caribbean. So you need to update. So you don't need pussy. You we get it. Your, uh, <laughs> maybe we work with soccer. Well, yeah. I don't know if you heard right, of a little, I don't know if you heard of a little guy called Akeem Olajuwon who also wasn't black American who was pretty good at basketball. And who's the guy on the Spurs that was Caribbean, black Caribbean? Yeah. Tim Duncan. Tim, Duncan. Tim Duncan's Duncan black from the Virgin Caribbean. Islands. So what the fuck does that fucking yeah, arrogant dude. joke say? You got to learn how to do this. This is what you got to learn how to do. Not be a cunt when you're trying to be funny. There you go. It's cunty. You can't be cunty. Yeah. First of all, when you're trying to be funny, you gotta fucking you gotta have some type of uh, softness to it. You can't just fucking come across like you're making a statement, well, I like you're on CNN. I don't know okay. what the relevance of my uh, color uh, of my skin has to do. Shut the f- No, it I does. I had a dream. <laughs> that one you are day. listening to the You Know What Dude podcast where we like to call our fans and tell them how appreciative we are. Well, <laughs> no, here's the thing. No, that here's listening. the thing. Here's the thing. Every one of you matters all the time. Here's the thing. No, he, he actually. He um, actually. I, I, can, I can hear you very well. Uh, the people in the background, not as much. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's, I, I, listen, first of all, I, I, I apologize for that. We're work, someone unplugged something and did something. It's not true. It is, By the way, if you pl- So you know, all you need to hear is me anyways. 
uh, they okay. can they can hear you perfectly. Just know that. Um, and if there's okay. something that you need, they say and you can't hear, we'll repeat it. But here's the here's the problem I have with you. Ready? Not that you critique the show. I have no problem with that. But I have a problem with you critiquing the show and not accepting my critique back. Like I'm supposed to okay. just understand what you say and say thank you for fucking giving me what you think of the show, and that's it. All I was doing back to you is saying, okay, that's fine, but I don't agree with you. I think that this, this, and this. I don't have a problem with someone going, the show stunk last week. I get it. That's why I put the intros in so that people can go, "Uh, I don't know if I want to listen to this one. It's not who I like. I tell you who's on the show so that you can pass or listen or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But here's another thing that sucks, too, is that you, you're a fan of the show. You listen to a shitload of episodes. Yep. One <laughs> out of a hundred you fucking hated. Well, Bobby, here's yeah. the thing. You're overlooking the fact. I agree with Corey, okay? He, someone with an extensive resume and background. His name is Black Corey. Corey. Black Corey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> someone like Black Corey who happens to be. I laughed at that. That's who good. happens to be an expert in the comedic arts. I mean, we got improv. Nah, He's got improv. We got music. Music. We got stand up. Stand up. We got everything. We got balloon animals. Ooh. <laughs> Listen. Card tricks. Uh, Bobby, can I? Can and I he respond? could probably call up a chicken on the side of the road. On a 30 minute, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, What's that? Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll start off by saying I'm a huge fan of the show. Like, yeah, I no, I, to every episode. I told, I'm, a, I'm a huge so fan any, of your improv. I told everybody that though. Just know that you're. Okay, f- so I know like, everybody any, knows you're a fan. You're not an asshole. Okay. You're not an asshole. So, so we're we're my, not coming at so you from, like that. So from my standpoint, any critique that I'm giving is with, like, from a, a, a fan's perspective, with sort of love. I, I don't know if that didn't come across. Uh, well, you do you want me to read your tweet? Back. You know what your tweet said? I, know, I, have, I have it right in front of me. I, Tell me, read uh, your read your mine? tweet. Read your tweet so everybody listening knows what you said. Die in a fire, fat Bobby. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus right, Christ. Dire. <laughs> Lewis just said your tweet said, die in a fire, fat Bobby. <laughs> No, 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 that was not. No, no, no. I, that was like, no, we was we were joking, Jeez, asshole. We know everyone. that's not your tweet. He said, "Hey, Whitey, <laughs> hey, white motherfucker, hey, Whitey, your podcast stink like a motherfucker." I'm blacker than black. I'm from the Caribbean. <laughs> All right, listen. Go ahead. Let it. Let it. <laughs> go ahead. What's the tweet say, Kelly? Read well, it. Well, y'all gonna have some hangers on, on the show, man. Hang on. First tweet. Uh, First. At Robert Kelly. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Listen to every YKWD podcast. Mm-hmm. Where's Allen? Was the worst episode ever. Two hours of unfunny venting. Yeah, Ooh. venting, not ranting. Uh, okay, but here's the thing. I, 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 I. And I started by saying I'm a huge fan. Okay, no, I know you're a huge fan, but I want you to understand that it's okay that you say that. I, I'm fine with that you're not liking that episode, but there's also the people that love that episode because it's not really venting. In my eyes, it was opening up to you guys and being real for a moment. Look, dude, I I lost a part of my family in the last and couple that's weeks. That's what makes you endearing to us that you do open up. However, there's a difference between there's some podcasts where you do it for like about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, it was just that this one went on for like two hours. It, it, I agree. I, I, listen, I agree. I, I agree with this that it was a very serious episode because you understand when I pick these. Episodes, I picked the people that are on it to because I know their personality. That week, there was just the same, this very serious guys Boring. on there with a new guy. I had a new guy, Joe Zimmerman, who's really, you know, he's kind of like Chris Dinkle, just sits there and doesn't really say much. <laughs> he's George, you know what I'm saying? He's George Zimmerman's cousin. I just can't enjoy a show with a guy's name. Last name is I hear you, brother. <laughs> I hear you, brother. Justice for Trayvon. One love. Justice for Trayvon. Tribe Call Quest. I right, Zimmerman. So, Zimmerman. Uh, but can I read your response? Because I wanted, to, I wanted to, the big issue for me was how you responded to me. Yeah. And I think yeah. you feel you Please. were justified. I think you were a little bit off. All right, all right, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, should I let, let him read the response. Do it, do it in Bobby's voice. All right, do it in my voice. Do it in Bobby's voice. Black Bobby. Come on, Corey. You're a comedian. You're a comedian. You're an entertainer. Shut, you're an entertainer. Shut, <laughs> shut the fuck up, guys. Settle down. Sorry. All right? I get it. He can't hear you. Bobby's response. Yeah. At Mr. Thriller, I figured there would be a few of you. Don't be a small, judgmental brat. Wow. Just shut up and not like this one episode. Wow. It's okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'll, issue, let me break it down. Okay. Go ahead. It's a little harsh. Small, judgmental brat part because I'm just. 
just giving you the feedback as one fan. I would hope that when you make a, a, a product for public consumption, you sort for of free. Want to know what's Ad free. Yeah, Ad free. For free. But here's the thing with that, because a lot of, I hear a lot of podcast people saying this. There was a, um, a quote somebody did one time. Uh, it was a musician. He said that people who make art and complain about how people respond to it, whether it's free or paid, if you're making it just for yourself, you would just make it for you and not release it. Once you release it to the public, it is subject, whether it's okay. paid or free, Jesus it is Christ. subject to... Oh, to uh, hey. Dude, is this his act? When you when you <laughs> when you talk to girls, do they yawn? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This part Marty. sponsored by Tylenol no. PM. Hey, I thought you were right. gonna do the black, no. oh, oh, the black thing. What's up with the black thing? That's why that's, a, a, that's why he'll never be a good comic. Guys, hey, guys, stop stealing my act. Hang on, you gotta let him talk. I can't. You can't not let him talk. Tell him there's nothing. There's funny. not a. Fu- it's not funny if it's just us screaming over no. him. Tell him you there's nothing funny about bragging about your big dick. There's n- all right. He, there's, Lewis said there's nothing funny about having a small dick. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing funny about bragging about your big dick. Yeah, there we go. You should involve Corey. Uh, um, you should well, ask Corey. He, he to shut the fuck up. If, uh, if, if he had one. But, uh, oh. 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 Lewis oh. got a vagina. Shh. I've got five minutes of material out on my small dick. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so listen, I'm gonna now. Let me break down. Let me break down. Let me. Yeah, listen. I'm gonna. I'm just giving you my opinion. Here's. But why does my opinion make me spoiled? I'm just giving you. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the. Let me. All right, listen. Now you don't talk. Shut up, Bob. Shut the fuck up. He's like, let me shut up, Bob. He can call me whatever. I gotta get through this because we gotta get to the trial. Okay, good. All right. Here's the thing. At the end of it, when I said it's okay, do you understand what that meant? It's hard to like focus on it's okay after reading spoiled judgmental brat. Well, it's, yeah, it, like here's the, the thing. Okay becomes smaller in, uh, it, it, my in my point brain. is this: is that one podcast out of hundreds that you've listened to, right? One show you didn't like that you were like this fucking st- I don't I hated this one, right? In my eyes, the way I look at things, it's like, it's okay, dude. It's okay not to like a series. It wasn't, it, this episode didn't suck, okay? Sucking, okay, is the big difference between you liking it because you like the show when it's funny or certain people are on or sucking. This episode did not no, suck. I never used the word suck. There All right. Actually a few la- I had a few laughs in it. There the, was the this episode. With, uh, Joe Liz. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. This okay. episode was not a bad episode. It was just not your cup of tea. As a fan, I expect you to cut me some slack on certain shows, knowing that some of them are going to be great. And I say this all the time. That's why I do these intros. This one's great. This one's funny. This one's serious. And I prefaced it at the beginning to let you know what it was. I understand what the episode was. So when you sit... I, when you critique that one, when as you come out of the gate, like th- I couldn't, this one, you guys just venting, all right? It's like, dude, settle down, dude. It's okay. You don't have to be a judgmental cunt like that out of the gate. If I put three in a row that sucked, or I, I, I did this a lot, or it was really becoming some other type of show that you didn't like, I get it. I get a cri- criticism, but okay. I get it. I. If, if it's one show out of hundreds that you went, what the fuck was that? Look, I get you not liking it. I, that's why if you listen to the intro, I understand that certain people are going to be like, what the fuck with this, this episode? Okay? But for a fan like you to come out of the gate like that and be like, you know, uh, what, I can't remember what your tweet said. He but gets it. He gets it's it. It's like, yeah. dude, it's okay. And when I call you a judgmental bitch... I, He's I'm not. Just being honest. I'm not being. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> I, I, a brat. I'm not saying. I'm not saying go fuck yourself. That's why tone. That's why I said, dude. Let me just call you because I'm sick of typing this shit. You can't get tone over Twitter. My point is, I get it. That's cool. But it, you're okay, dude. It's okay. Don't worry about it. 
It's okay that can you I didn't like say, the episode. Can I just say this? As a, as a comedian and as, you know, the producer. Whoa. Wow, well, wow. Wait, wait a minute. Wow. Well, we haven't seen that hey, yet. Hey, wait, you ahead. haven't seen his work. I'm very no, familiar I'm with it. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, Bobby, oh. as a comic. Oh, okay. we all meant that. Well, no, we were all, wow. that, that's wow. what we meant. Right. We meant me. Corey, because when you refer to yourself, remember, you have to refer to yourself as an entertainer. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Corey. Yeah, I, I, hey, hey, I'm not one of those people who are on Facebook just doing open mics and, and, and their, uh, their thing says stand-up comic. No. I don't believe in that. No, no, yeah, okay, get, be, get back to your point. Yeah. Okay, um, as, as a comic and somebody who's producing something, yeah. um, are you not interested to hear the feedback from your fans? So, I, when I when I said it, like, are you not interested in, in sort of conducting? He's a inter- he's interested. I, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. Listen, I that your feedback's fine, but don't don't think that I'm not gonna defend something or def- defend your criticism. I get this. I get to talk back. So if we li- if we go by your rule by the saying that you said, I get to critique your criticism. I get to defend my I get to defend my point to a f- you're a fan of mine, so I get to explain it to you. Look, maybe I did it in an aggressive, funny way that didn't come across funny to you, but that's okay too. That's why I'm on the phone with you now to kind of explain. It was kind of getting out of out of, out of hand. But here's the deal: I'm going to explain it to you. I get to talk back. It's not one way. It's not you tweet me and that's it. You tweet me and I'll fucking tweet you back. And we can have that dialogue. It's like you're a, um, you're a chef in a restaurant and you make food for like uh, you know a bunch of us and we eat all the time. And it's like, yeah, this food's great. And one time you asked me how it was and I'm like, it's salty. And you're like, you're a judgmental brat. And it's like, no, 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 no. You didn't use the word salty, motherfucker. You didn't use the word salty. You didn't read your, read your tweet again. Um, yeah, but I'm not a chef, dude. I'm not a chef. You're talking. To, hey, stop. You're talking about me opening up about my real life and some tragic shit that happened to me. Okay. okay. Uh, you making a fucking sauce. Okay. Comparing my my real life and me being as honest as a hundred percent honest to you as, as as somebody I don't even fucking know to let you in and to have dialogue that maybe somebody out there because a lot of people like the episode related to it and got help from it. Okay, okay. So uh, you relating that my life, my personal life, and letting you in behind closed doors where comedians don't fucking let you in. Yeah. Okay, where maybe it's not a, a funny, hilarious. Oh my god, you're laughing and whatever the fuck you do on a treadmill. Maybe you're actually wow, this is too real for me. Okay, but it's not too real for everybody. And that and you comparing that to a sauce is ridiculous to me. Well, okay. Sauce? You understand me? At least a lasagna. This is okay. this is a totally different fucking uh, medium you're talking about. So when you say to me, okay, I, I don't, I don't like I that don't, episode. I don't have a problem with real. There's been a lot of podcasts that had real moments. Yeah, one you don't want it. Realist. I understand. Bad, I, I get you it. You wanted it shorter, I think. I get, I get it. I understand what happened, and the critique is taken. That's why at the end of it, I said it's okay. I get it. Okay, it's so okay. In, in, in conclusion, I don't have a problem with realness. It was. It, it was that's what makes you like endearing to us as fans. I understand. Yeah, I get that. that this one went on too long. A bit longer. I, I I don't have a problem with that, dude. I don't have a problem okay. with you saying that. But when I when I responded to you, uh, it wasn't fuck you. Because look at dude. If I this is the deal. If I I say fuck you and block you, you understand? I I said, dude. It's, I said, look. Don't be a spoiled brat. It's okay. And you took that in a fucked up way. You took my criticism of your criticism in a fucked up way. I, it's okay. No, I didn't. My, you, you, can I read my response to that when you said judgmental brat? I said, Robert Kelly, one, I say this with love. Yep. I'm a fan. Yep. Three, when you create a podcast for public consumption, consumption yeah. it is subject to Yeah, we need to tighten bro. this up. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what, dude? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because we're, yeah, dude, we're, we're just done. making that we're episode done. that he's yeah, we're making about. the We're making the episode that you don't like right now yeah, with you. Exactly dude, send us some fucking sauce, dude. All right, listen, dude. Uh, I love you, buddy. Listen, Wait, I love hold you. Hold on. Where Hang can on. we come see your show? Hang on. Shut up. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand. Uh, I, I was just... I, I understand what the fuck you're saying. I get it, but it's all right. Some shows are going to suck. Some shows are going to be... Most of them are going to be awesome. I know. I have co- full we confidence Bobby, with the people I have that this is the funniest <laughs> podcast on the planet. You got so, it right. So that's it. We're, we're good, dude. And hopefully someday, maybe you'll be on the show. Can I say one thing? 
Oh, no. Jesus every, Christ. Every podcast. Marin, yep. Jay Moore, everybody. Your, yours is the only one I download as soon as it comes out without right. checking to see. Blue, blue, blue. Big you know, yourself. So I, I, I love the show. All right, thank <laughs> you, buddy. Blue, blue, blue. Why, I right, listen. Can I say something about Kelly real quick? Can I say something about Kelly? Yeah. Oh, God, no. Girl, uh, you got a fat ass. I, I want to hit that shit. I was a fan of the podcast, and she, she looks so surprised that black people listen to podcasts. And, we got a uh, lot of black fans. Yeah. No, we're surprised that black people own a computer. <laughs> no. No. All right, listen. Uh, you I met got you? An iPhone, uh, uh, Lewis. Um, actually, she, she asked me if I know Monroe Martin. I'm like, no, I heard about him from the podcast. Why do you assume I have to know the one black comic you've had on? Because be she's right, fan. I'm a fan of the show. I'm a fan of I listen. Right. Right. Listen, it's when you. Time. I want you to know Thank you for that And uh, thanks for listening to the show And where are you playing next? Where can we come see your show? Where am I playing? I'm, I'm, I'm in the open mic uh, <laughs> You want funny motherfucker? You got it All right. You guys uh, Enzite is one of our new um, One of our new sponsors of the show And I'm very excited about it Because not that you uh, you have a uh, erectile difficulty. This is the enhance your erection, which is a whole different thing. You don't have to be 80 to uh, use this. You can be uh, my age or younger if you want to enhance your erection. So uh, why don't you tell us about it? Guys, fellas out there, yes. yeah. dudes, yeah. don't you hate how erection products use gimmicks to get your attention? I hate it's it. The worst. It's hate the it. worst, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I hate it. You know, like showing a car that won't start in a commercial. Oh, God. Are you always using a sexy female voice like Kelly's? Yeah. Talking what? about... What? Talking about giving your woman a hard time. Uh, yeah, what? Ooh, giving your woman a hard... Hey. Do they think we're that gullible? Huh? Yeah. Huh? No. Of course they, they don't. Fuck no. We got <laughs> brains. We have brains. Of course we have brains. Yeah. Let me tell you how thinking men are dealing with erectile dysfunction. How? See. How? Enzite! That's how. I what love Enzite. Enzite. I do like it. Millions of men's, Bobby, also like it. Millions. Not hundreds of thousands. This shit is like the Whopper. Right. Millions, millions of men millions rely on Enzite. on Enzite brands for a confident performance anytime, every time. Right. Love <laughs> it. Okay? Just one capsule a day. It's like taking a vitamin. No big deal. It's all you need for strong peak male enhancement. That's great. Because you know what, though? I, I Honest to God, you... you um, I started taking a vitamin to do that, and it didn't work. And now if I can take this, and it works, because having sex after a baby, seriously, it's a, it's a little fucking weird. Yeah. And your brain is all over the place, and you fuck all this crazy it's shit. Like you're fucking into his old house. <laughs> so if you can take one of these, you're actually... Yeah. It's like you're breaking into his old apartment. All right, just go ahead with the read. Jesus. Come on, go. I keep, I'm going to keep that one for my dude, we got to go. I'm going to tweet that right after All right, after this. go ahead, tweet All right, guys, it. listen to me, okay? If you're looking for the most powerful erections imaginable, I'm talking about the ones that you used to get in third grade in math class. Yeah. You need to try Enzite. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's the thinking man's product for erectile dysfunction. Not the meatheads, the thinking man's product. And that's the end of the read. No, yeah, there's not. The there's a, oh, it's mandatory right close. If you call, <laughs> <laughs> give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing good, Bobby. Well, don't say mandatory. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant for Just me. Go. If you call now, right now, right now, right this second, you can score a special Enzyte trial pack for the sack and receive a 10 day sample of Ogoplex. Bam. For the ultimate male experience. Can I, let me just. Free with your order. Burners. Free right now with your order. We're hooking you up with a free trial pack. Bam. Deal. That's free. Did you hear the word free? It's like listening to this podcast. 10 day, uh, 10 day. Uh, of Ogo, Ogo, of o Ogoplex. Ogoplex, Ogoplex for the ultimate male experience of free with this, your order. This is not a joke, guys. You no. guys are going to get a free. We love to hook you guys up with great deals. So how do you how do you get it? Yeah, you call now for the most powerful erections imaginable with the Enzyte trial pack for the sack. Call 1-800. You got your pen and paper or your iPhone out? 1-800-606-5715. That's 1-800-606-5715. Five seven one or, five, or go to smilingbob.com. Yeah, smilingbob.com. Because that's what I am when I'm using the enzymes. Enzyme. I'm smiling. Bob. So make sure you go there. It's worth a try for real. Seriously, if it works, it's yeah. worth a try. 
These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Free trial requires via life enrollment with free future auto shipments. Bam. All right, check this out, Chris. We got a new sponsor, uh, Hulu Plus. Now, you know uh, Hulu.com. I want to tell you about Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere. Stream it on your TV or on the go with your smartphone or tablet. Okay, here's the deal. Why stand there in line and ride the train and just stare at your feet or look at other people uncomfortably? All right, you could be... Yeah, you can sit there and you can watch. You can be watching your favorite shows on Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus is a great way to binge watch your favorite shows. Hulu Plus has tons of episodes from great comedies like SNL, Community, Modern Family. I love that show. South Park, Family Guy, and thousands of other shows. Okay, I, I'm telling you, Hulu Plus is the only is only. This is the price. Check this out. Seven. Ninety nine a month. That's seven ninety nine a month for all the shows and movies you can watch. That's what I love about it. Here's the deal: catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or catch great movies. They have movies too. You can do it all with Hulu Plus. Right now, you can try Hulu Plus for a couple of weeks free. Okay, so you can check it out. That's what I love doing with this stuff. New technology, new uh, ways to view media. You always want to, you always want to, I don't want to lay down my credit card right away and start paying. I'll, so now here's a free, uh, a, a way you can watch for free for a couple of weeks on me, okay, on the show. The people here at YKW Dude, when you go to HuluPlus.com forward slash dude or just go to uh, go to the host, enter the site, okay, where the logo, our logo will be posted, and click on the Hulu Plus logo. Okay, it's going to be right on the Riotcast.com site. So just go to Riotcast and click on the uh, logo, the Hulu Plus logo. Please make sure you use the HuluPlus.com forward slash dude so you can get extended free an extended free trial. And so they know that we sent you. That's how it works. They're going to know that you came from us if you use that link. It helps us keep the lights on and gives you a better deal on more time for extended free trial, HuluPlus.com forward slash dude. So here's the deal. Go there. Use the code word dude. Okay. Well, I love it too because you can, it's, it's, uh, here's the deal. I don't have to, I don't have time. There's so many good shows out there. I don't have time to catch them all. I have time to watch around four or five shows. Okay. I watch Duck Dynasty, which I love. Uh, yeah, I, I watch, um, uh, the Glades, I watch Longmire, I watch uh, True Blood, and there's these seasons that they all come on, so it changes. But now I can just say, okay, I, I missed a bunch of them. I can go back and watch it. I can go back and watch. And if there's an SNL that I missed, because I work on Saturday nights, I'm a comedian. So now, please go right now. Go sign up for a free two week trial at Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hits, shows, anytime, anywhere, TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Support this podcast and get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus when you go to HuluPlus.com forward slash dude. That's HuluPlus.com forward slash dude. Or just go to Riotcast slash Robert Kelly. Make that your homepage. You do that right now. and You send us a picture of that that it's your homepage. And uh, I'll fucking give you free hugs next time I see you. Hey, Jesus that was great. <laughs> oh my God. What a fucking. Got, Jesus. Dude, you should, no, but you should do like a review segment with him where you call him and get in your review. Listen, of every here, here's the deal. I, 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 Corey, how did we do last week? <laughs> well, first of all, it went on. You know, no, was, I've met him before, but he comes up to me. He's like, oh, I'm a comic. And I'm like, oh, who do you know? And we didn't. Well, it's always from listen, New York. guys. Yeah, yeah. He here's the deal, guys. Why is I need to know this? Why is Dan's head so long? <laughs> <laughs> why? No, don't get that on video, Chris. Good for you. What are you, Rotem? I didn't know I couldn't push the button that My fast. My jeans were choking me. He's not going on a date I, on me. I'm not. I don't like to look at Dan in a fucked up way. I just right, can't listen. wait for Dan to get older so it looks normal. I have that. <laughs> listen, so that face looks appropriate. Here's the it just deal. Just doesn't look appropriate on a thirty-year-old man. Uh, here's the deal. 
I had to do that because you can't read tone over Twitter. And it, it was getting weird back and forth. Like I was joking, but he took it serious. And then but, but it was getting weird. So I was like, let's just do this. Call up. I love the fans of this fucking show. Number one, they support the show and they spread the word. Number two, they go see us live. Yeah. And they show up and go, I'm from... That's the best. And they're great fans. They're yeah. fucking the best. The people who listen to the show are the best fans on the fucking world because best. I love them. And I fucking love them. Some of the shout-outs to Derek Gott coming out in San Antonio. Raw, Big, Big Lou, Lou Ontario. Arango. Yeah, some of your cats that listen to the show are fucking dangerous, Neary too. Neary Sands working yeah. with you in uh, Florida. He's a big fan Dude, of the there was show, a fan so. who came out to see me in Ontario, California. His name's Big Lou. Yeah. The guy was the size of like three people. Yeah. <laughs> he had he was taking a picture with me, and it was more like a chokehold. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I met like uh, Raul Rangel, who's like a he's yeah. a young comic in San Antonio, and he's like yeah. huge. I'm like, ah, hey, how you doing? What buddy? about Heather Graves? I mean, she's, she's fucking, awesome. And these these uh, look, these fans actually spread the word. The show's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. But I love it that they show up at our live events. Even yeah. last night at the Creek in the Cave, yeah. Yeah. there was YKWd fans. We awesome. I, we met them at the. Yeah. Uh, at the walking from the train, a awesome. big fan of the like, show. Hey, Bobby. So <laughs> Jesse Mapeluso, also huge fan of the episodes I'm on. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the ones you're not. <laughs> well, we're actually all fans we're, of Jesse Mays. Is it gonna kill you when I have her on the show? Oh, Are and you really? you're really? <laughs> 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 look, oh man, really? sitting in that chair, and I let her take the Can microphone out. I at least out? have one place that's just mine now. <laughs> She's done the show before. I think not with me. Oh, oh, that was yeah, a yeah. great episode too. That was yeah. really <laughs> a real barn burner. What was the name? That again? Oops, uh, Look at you, y'all. If you changed your tune, well, how no, you the, burnt hot. The name of that episode was Bobby. Why'd you make that mistake? <laughs> Bobby, where have you been? Please come back. Wow, I, I love the wow. face of everyone that was listening. Really? Like, wow. Now we're one for one, bitch. Wow. I don't remember you lever last time when you fucking took a swing at my head. What I say? You said some bad shit. Remember, I was like, really, Kelly? I didn't remember because it, it wasn't that. Great, all right, listen to me. Listen, here's the what? deal. Whoa, that's Can you. I, me? Are you? Are you two before? Hey, don't first of all, don't round your shoulders, you coward. Stand up to him. No. He's, he's leaving. He's nobody. He doesn't got. He has no shows. He's got no. What are you gonna do? What morning you? in fucking Miami? <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> shows do you got to promote in Miami? Yeah, you done attack, uh, Kelly. Seen that it's side a of national. You it's a national network, oh. and I'm the only one in here who has a TV well, show. Well, Kelly's going. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm leaving because uh, they're paying me. Little to. thing called Guy Code. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry about and that. And it's definitely and little. And you're breaking <laughs> Guy Code right now. And you know when Guy Code's gonna be. Over when they well, like they did on VH1 where the makeup guy is one of the talking heads. Oh. Yeah, I, that's when I knew the VH1 talking head thing was over. When they, whenever he was saying no because they weren't paying, and the makeup guy, the makeup guy who did my makeup was on. Like I think, I think, I think Van Halen's a good band. I don't. I mean, I love the V and the H. I used to. Do, oh, wah, wah. Dude, there is nothing funnier than the wrinkle joke. That was the greatest. Listen, thing. here's the deal. Like a, Let me. Can we? Uh, you got it. We're fire you because you got a wrinkle. Giannis, here is the deal. I wanted to have the guy on because I know, listen, I know he's a good guy, a fan of the show, and you can critique the show, but you don't have to be so fucking immediate about it. Yeah. You can give, all right, the show, you know, you know, all right, the show sucked. Okay, good for you. But I'm going to respond to it if I defend it. Yeah. Don't compare my shit to a sauce. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a chef. I'm, I'm, we're all up no, here. No, he's comparing you to the comedian we're, sauce. We're all, up here <laughs> trying to, ah, we're all up here trying to open up and be as honest as we can and as funny as we can. And sometimes, last week, I agree. It went, it got pretty deep. This is let me put it that way. Okay, so why if someone you so hard on him then, if you agree with him, you why agree. Why are we spending four I, hours on this shit? I like it. I like it sometimes you when like it goes. This, I like. What, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, all right. Listen. Oh, so right. Corey was right, basically, is what you're saying. No, he wasn't right. Oh. He that was his opinion. I agree with some of it, yeah, but okay. not all of black it. Black people are so sensitive sometimes. Yeah, they are, but they can be. That's like, fine. Why did you ask me if I knew another black comic? I'm like, if you met another Australian comic, wouldn't you ask if because I knew Because I'm an Australian. Actually, so Kelly, you actually did ask him just because Monroe was black. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. I need everybody to confer with their clients. I'm court, ready. we're ready. We're court ready. Is, we're way ready. Court we're is back in session. The, the hammer fisting fisting break I've ever had. First of all, the, the, the fucking judge yeah, needs fucking water. Yeah. Rusty, rusty <laughs> vagina. Can you? Hey, rusty. <laughs> the bailiff. Rusty, hey, water, rusty, dance, rusty vagina. Wait, wait, a do you want to, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you want to deliver the way you've been delivering water? You guys <laughs> spike it off Lewis's knee. <laughs> I, he's fucking. I'll tell you why. Lewis is getting a little out of fucking control with me. Nice. Lewis, Shows Lewis up three kidding. minutes late to the podcast that I made early for him. Unacceptable. And, and then he fucking. Huh? You're stepping over the <laughs> fucking line. That great Denver and education. Unacceptable. Here's the deal. Colorado Public he's schools. stepping over the fucking line. 
He's you know what I mean? This is what happens with people. They get too comfortable around you. It's not true. And you, you got to fucking step on their neck a lot. Oh, cross that line tell you multiple that. times. Line stepper. I know about that. They get Maybe. comfortable with you, and then yep. they take it for granted. Right. And then they get comfortable with you. Then they get a TV show. God damn, he's breaking guy codes right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Then you realize that you're out of your league anyways. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you realize, why yeah. did you like me in the first place? I should have <laughs> fucking did sit-ups. I should have did sit-ups. I shouldn't have had that pancake. Never had it, never. She was, uh, no. Let's no just carbs after no. five, you honest. We're not even talking about it. No, we're here's not the deal. what we're talking about. All right, here we go. It's like, to be honest, this We. There was a great moment just now, though, when you asked for a water. Yeah. Where Kelly went to get it, and Chris Scopo got up to reach it was just beautiful really he yeah. knows he yeah. knows when you meanwhile, said you Scope- said because you said rusty get up and he went up to get it <laughs> meanwhile you Scopo's didn't you didn't fucking dead bodies on his pad over there <laughs> just a yeah. woman's head cut off from her body <laughs> he said you know the best part of murdering someone is when you see the lights go out <laughs> when you just know they're done you know and another when they're... great part is that you're white and can get away with it i love cleaning up after because you have to be so precise do you guys want to come over for dinner i got a a body part in my freezer. The smell of bleach. <laughs> Do you oh. want to redo that joke? Because it was Didn't not work. that funny at the end of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you <laughs> fucking the tempo of that joke sucked. <laughs> Do you want to try that again? Because I have shitty tempo. <laughs> yeah, here, here, yeah. There it is. Don't get, oh, give me the bandana. I never get the bandana because I'm fucking on fire usually. No, you're not. There no, you go. This one's for energy. Joe List. I wish you were on fire. Well, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm going to be on fire when you hit Miami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a spicy soup. My mouth is on fire. Uh, yeah. I understand what the guy meant when he compared the show to a soup. <laughs> Listen, Joe Chris, Chris you really got a Chris, you got really got a blowjob. You got a blowjob at my house. Yeah. All right. Was it from your girlfriend? Yeah. Upstairs on my couch. On the couch. Did yeah. you jizz on my couch? In her mouth. Oh, oh, what yeah. a champ. Listen, stop. We got good for you, champ. Can you, you? can you cut it off before that? <laughs> God damn. Kelly, how did he taste? Your honor? Oh. Oh. Tasted a little sweet there. Yeah, <laughs> he tasted like a yeah, nice stream water. Bitch, that was so harsh. My I, was, I haven't been harsh with you. And my, look at me. I'm a gangster at this point. So. My, uh, <laughs> Are you ready? Don't ever call me a bitch again because I've never been a bitch to you. My oh. client. Ah, you could be Maurice's best friend. Mm-hmm. Never. <laughs> oh. Kelly has a big gap. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to put a dress on again. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. My Kelly cl- blows comics. Kelly, Kelly blows, blows comics. comics. Kelly Wait a minute. What? That's horrible. That's horrible. Soder. I give credit. I give credit. <laughs> Dan Soder. Dude. <laughs> Guys, that was her interview for the podcast. Cut number 45, <laughs> Michael Chang. No way. Yeah, she blew Jordan no. too. Ding, 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 ding. There's no way she blew. Say oh. any name right now. Any name. Jim Norton. No. Buddy Bolton. <laughs> no way. I don't even know who that is. Raw Magnati. I hate it. I really you hate it. You blew. Really? Maceo. Shut up. Dude. Chris yeah. Tinkle. <laughs> Talent. You blew Chris All Tangle? Hate it. All except for me. That's the only joke you have about me, Lewis, that I blow people Dante and Nero. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> All right, listen. Andrew Schultz. <laughs> Shucky ducky. Lonnie Love. Oh, Nipsey Lonnie. Russell. She sucked my dick all the time. It made me give her a dime. <laughs> Woo! Keith <laughs> Robinson! Oh, you're terrible. You're terrible. You use too much teeth. Stop it. You're bothering me. All right, listen, stop. Cut all this off Kelly's dick sucking fucking <laughs> her way to the top like P is a Dora. <laughs> All right, now um, listen. Can I please uh, you're, you hear ye, Chris? Can yes. you can yes. you bang the gavel, Chris? My client has a big announcement. To make. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna go right now to the trial of Louis J. Gomez. Whoa, am I on trial or is Chris on trial? You're on trial. You're on trial. Why am I always on trial? Because you're Puerto you're, Rican. Yeah. This whole podcast is on trial. <laughs> That's because you have shitty gangster your tattoos. Honor, uh, your Honor, yes, first sir. I want to start by saying that uh, the <laughs> defendant is a member of the Latin Kings. Is that your new character that you're <laughs> doing down in Miami? It's called Handkerchief Henry. <laughs> Handkerchief Henry. <laughs> Look at me, I clean, but you then I also have prosecute. <laughs> 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 Lawyer made. He's half lawyer made. Look, 
Go Look ahead, at yes. the evidence. Yes, sir. Before, what did he say about your wife? Cross the line. He does cross, he the, cross the line. I'm going to be honest with you. Honor objection. Hang on. That has nothing to do Overruled. with Overruled. Overruled. I don't like being in your courthouse. <laughs> Hang on one second. We need to judge Lewis. Overruled because you look 60 and you're 30 and it's annoying. Hang oh, on one second. <laughs> guys, guys. He did. He did step over the line. That's what Lewis steps over the line sometimes. Your a, honor. As Charlie Murphy would say, he's a habitual line crosser. Your okay. honor. Oh, you are a habitual line but crosser. Yes. What do we also love about Lewis? We that love that he steps he over the line. the line. I live right. on that line. That is touche, uh, counselor. Uh, Thank is. you. Touche. All right, face, now, okay, here we go. We'll get Chris. Yes. Okay, I just want to hear what your voice sounded like because I forgot. <laughs> are you sure you weren't? You sh- are you sure you're not off the show because you didn't talk enough? No, no. Why are you not talking today? Dude, I'm talking. Just everyone else is like talking more. And like Giannis is like sad about grow code, so I'm letting him have, you know. <laughs> I feel bad for him. The poor guy's over here. and then I'm not Kelly's sad about anything. Let's just get that out of the No, you're not He's sad. devastated. Yeah. Kelly's <laughs> blowing every dude except for me, apparently, so no. that kind of hurts my feelings. She, she didn't blow me. She didn't blow me. She doesn't blow everyone first yeah. off, okay? Not I everybody. Don't like this. No. Yeah, She's got to like find your It's all hand jobs. Yeah. Oh, well, even She's then. jerking it. Kelly jacket. blows up. Soda! It's a great joke, guys. Okay, here we go. All right. I want to hear the bombshell. Give me the bombshell. Uh, okay, uh, Chris. Uh, well, I'd like my client to take the stand. Okay, go ahead. He has a bigot. My first client- of all, first of all, do you uh, will you tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Swear to God. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Uh, put your hand up to yes. right, your right hand. Yes. Of that okay. San Francisco my right. accent. Yeah, my dude. right. Yes, yes. Of right. course, no, dude. No, my right. Yes. Yeah, dude. All right, go ahead. Of course, man. <laughs> I want you to tell me, sure. tell, tell me I'll give you right now. I'll give you hell of truth. I'll give you hell of truth, dude. Shut the fuck up, Giannis. Sorry. What are you on, Coke? <laughs> it's my last episode, <laughs> Miami, man. Miami. I'm excited hey. and I'm happy. Okay, okay. I got a TV show, guys. You guys know what that feels like? I well, let me tell you. God. Yeah, but it's in Miami, <laughs> so it's not really TV. Oh, that's horrible. I hope it gets, it's such a success in Miami that uh, that uh, Giannis gets to open his that own car in, dealership. That people in Fort Lauderdale see it? <laughs> <laughs> Pop his Nissan? Huh. <laughs> All right, uh, so go ahead. Let's go. Let's okay, do this. My client would like to take the stand. Chris yes. Tinkle, please, has a great, a big announcement to make to yes, what is the it? people. Uh, well, ever since uh, I, I was on a hammer fisting, I've been working at Sirius and XM, doing all kinds of shows. I've been on their shows, and we just did two pilots for them, so I'm going to be having my own. It's like it's like hammer fisting, but it's going to be on Sirius XM. Oh. It's going to be like hammer oh. fisting. Oh. Wow. Minus wow. 100% less uh, Puerto Ricans. Whoa. And, wow. and, and yeah. it's going to be called Real Ass Dude Radio. Is what? Really? Call it. Hold no, on. no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, think oh, that would have been the best. Where's the, the fucking no, no, no. objection? Tinkle, look, 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 look. Yeah. Objection. I'm sorry. Tinkle, Tinkle, is that on Facebook? Hang, hang on, hang on. Hang hang on. on. Objection. Hang it's not his turn. Turn his mic off. I just turned your turn off. that. Tinkle wasn't allowed to say anything. Uh, Tinkle turn said that, that on one Facebook. off, too. <laughs> yeah, I love when this happens. <laughs> no, get the fuck They're out. They're all off. Why <laughs> stepper? Yeah. No. Oh. Turn all those fucking mics off. My Please. client My Please. client is not finished off. speaking. My client Okay, is here we go. Tango, go ahead. God damn, line stepper. So, um, my client um, has got a show that he's going to get paid for. Right. I like, I, I like you. Yeah, like me. We both getting, have shows. We're getting shows. Me and right. my client both have shows that right. we're going to be getting <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that we're going to be getting paid for. Yes. Uh, uh, so you have a show. You're getting paid. Let me finish. Bobby. Yeah. My cli- on behalf of my client, he would like to thank Mr. Lewis J. Gomez. <laughs> oh, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> for the inspiration uh, yeah. from his horrible behavior to leave right. and start his own show. Really? Uh, yes. And make it a success with <laughs> right. the absence of What's Lewis the name J. of your show? Um, it's going to be called uh, Pounding Dudes, I think. No, it's going to be called um, uh, the Paper Champions. Is what Paper we Champions? Yes, Your Honor, can we please see some sort of contractual <laughs> negotiation? <laughs> All of this talk is hearsay. My client, it's like who time was to kill. very, uh, I want to say, uh, forthright by letting you know that uh, the defendant or the prosecution, I, I don't know what side we're on. Wait, he said he said uh, forthright. Is there a Puerto Rican translator here who can explain what that word means for Lewis means uh, Whoa. No, like coming hey. forward. No, just, seriously, is there somebody right. trans- <laughs> <laughs> My mic's a little loud Your at this Honor, point. Your Honor, it's basically loud. clear here that 
the uh, Mr. Tinkle did not enjoy yes. the element of hammer fisting, which has made it so popular, which is that it is a very <laughs> is funny podcast. That crosses the line. MMA with crossing the line. So when a guest <laughs> is brought up in a negative light and Mr. Tinkle's butthole shrinks <laughs> because he doesn't like crossing lines, which is what my client no, does. It's that's his, what he's known for. Some people would say it's his trademark. You don't, you don't, you don't even, shit on a guest, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I want to say order, something. Order. I'm sick of not talking. All right, Lewis, you I'm go. I'm glad you're not talking. Fuck this. All, All right. right. Here's you what happened. say something about Woo! me. I swear to God. Survival Series. Oh, he's serious. standing up. He's, he's standing taking up. the mic out, yeah. Lewis. Oh, he's, he's a real down. ass dude. Oh. He's a real ass dude. Here's what happened. Real ass dude of the week. Chris Tinkle. Got Kelvin Casellum, who's the winner of the Ultimate Fighter, Woo! on the show. He got yes. him on. Okay, yes. he contacted him and said, "Hey, you don't want you yes. to be on the show." Yes. He came on. Now, before he was even on the show, this yes. just during the taping. Before yes. he was even on the show. Before. Uh, I said, "I said we have a really huge guest today," and then Vic at the time said, "Oh, I wouldn't call him huge." And if you don't know, Vic man. Garcia is the man that took Hang everything on. and brought it to the top. <laughs> Keep it going, Get Lewis. This. So. So I Jeez. fucking so listen. So Vic said I, I I said we have a huge guest on today. Right. Woo! Oh. Listen, listen. Hang on. Is the fucking iPad off? <laughs> I spend more money on fries. liquor. <laughs> And you stop we enjoying the show. It. Give it to him. It Give it to it. him. Give it to him. Resetting it because of Rusty. Price. You think if I would get this? Go ahead. Go. Okay. Shut up. So listen. What? So why would you tell her to? Because she's up. talking. Okay. So, listen. so he <laughs> makes sense. He got Kevin to sell him. Let me fucking finish. <laughs> All right. Whoa, got, I have to leave whoa. in fifteen minutes. That's okay. I gotta dip out. I gotta dip out. Is that what they call it in the business? Because you have something too. I do have something. Okay. Go ahead. This is gonna be great. I'm going to meet Bill Cosby in a minute. So. It's a new, new MMA doctor. podcast. Right, I'm going to park his car. I think that <laughs> Silva. Uh, I can't so, even do it. I, can't, I tried to do Oh, my voice. God. <laughs> I just tried to do a voice. I tried to do Man, Cosby. It went bad. <laughs> wow. So when you got five of them, like I do, the hook's coming for you, Bobby. <laughs> you can't be doing voices. <laughs> I Hit got him, it. Lewis. Right. Hit so, him. Right, but before we had him on that day, we okay. already done the interview. Yeah. Yep. I said we have a huge guest today, and Vic was like, oh, I wouldn't call him a huge guest. And then we went on to like a, a ball-busting rant for a couple minutes. Fat, well, fat jokes. But no, about how it's not a huge guess. Because okay. that's okay. what you do when it, you're on a funny MMA podcast. I mean, I've done, hold on. But Tell him, Lou. We've done that with, I mean, everybody from Dan Hardy to fucking Woo! Tito Ortiz to the War... bad boy of Huntington Beach! To War Machine, to whoever. That's... Colonel Rhodes in Iron Man. <laughs> I don't know the MMA fighter, but I know the He's in jail. Yeah, but I, I'd say a good How is my fucking lawyer so quiet over here? Let me finish. Let me Hang finish. On. That's not my turn, turn to speak. Let me yeah. finish. You want me to this object? This is our team. This is our team. Don't object. Objection. <laughs> no, overruled. Fuck. Shut up. I got nothing God right now, Tinkle. So all we did was, like we did with 80% of the guests, we'll right. bust balls or whatever it is. Now, Tinkle right. was upset because it was somebody that he Beat got on. Beat a crime, right. baby. Which I get. It's fine. <laughs> So that's that's fine. That happened. It was over. Right. Three weeks One, later. One, two, three. Three weeks later, Tinkle. Con now, now here's the other thing about Kelvin. I'm At listening. the time he was on, it wasn't a great interview, and it wasn't because he's not a great interview. Man couldn't talk. <laughs> but it was because he was. On uh, Bobby, you listening, buddy? You text him right I'm, now. No, I'm, I'm oh, listening. Oh, Jesus. Well, I need. You're the fucking judge. I'm right you're here, person. baby. I'm with you're you. The judge, jury, and execution. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so. He, three weeks later, and he wasn't a great interview because he was on the reality show. He couldn't talk about anything. Right. He could be in front of the camera, just can't talk in it. <laughs> <laughs> so three weeks later, Tinkle comes back to me and said, oh, dude, let's get Kelvin Gisellum on uh, today again. He, he just, says it again. He just won his last fight. <laughs> this is three weeks later. Three weeks? That's almost a full yeah, month. He's he's on a fucking on, reality show. And he's oh, 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 you're, you're out of line. Shit. You had your chance. Okay. That's all fucking things out of order. Go. The, the show is pre-recorded, okay? Yeah. That yeah. means taped before it airs. <laughs> so he... In the can. Kelvin, listen, I'm at this helping. point, he knows whether or not he's going to the finals. <laughs> he knows the ending. He don't want to tell it. <laughs> he can't talk about it, Bobby. He can't, can't talk speak. about it. Can't say what he wants. The, <laughs> three weeks before, he was on the podcast and wasn't able to say anything. Whoa. It was going to be a bad interview. It's going to be like talking to a dead piece of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> 
piece of dirt. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on cocaine and steroids. So <laughs> that's where the argument stemmed uh, from. On cocaine and steroids. Bob, that's where uh, the argument stemmed uh, from because I said, dude, I don't really want to have money again. He was just on and he can't talk. So it just makes him look, it makes it look bad for everybody involved. But instead of being a conversation, right. Tinkle gets fucking into a hissy fit and gets up in arms Ooh, and like pissed off. Like a boy laying down in a grocery store. <laughs> but then, hold on, but then I say... Fine, dude. Right. Fine, we'll have him. I'm not going to actually argue with you about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then it, from there, it got into a whole thing because then Kelvin ended up not answering his phone or something. And then we got it just turned into a huge fight from I'm, there I'm about with this. a million little things. Right. So that's mm -hmm. actually what happened. It wasn't about me shitting on a guest. You didn't leave because I shit on a guest. You left weeks later after you wanted to have him on again. And we argued about a bunch of other shit. This got real. Okay, okay, okay here we go. So I was fucking irritated that like I had a feeling that this guy was going to win the whole thing. So... My whole thing was, not just for us, but for the fans, is we had a fucking horse in the race. We had somebody who was, like, knocking out people. He was a big underdog. So I thought it would be cool to have him on every single every single time he was going to have a fight or the or you the wanted, after. Yeah, I understand. You know what you wanted? Yes, we had a horse in the race. And Here's was, the deal. And, this is what and, you want. Well, this, and also, can I say one thing? Yeah, don't, manager, don't shake, though. I'm I don't shaking, want a I, shaky finger. Your I'm Honor, sorry. my yeah. client is a little frustrated. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. You're right. Go ahead. So his manager also sent me an email and asked if we were going to be in Vegas. <laughs> Over the finals. And then he wrote me back and said, only because I said he was in Vegas, it doesn't mean he's in the finals. So basically, okay. his manager fucked up and said he was going to be in the finals. So we kind of knew he was Why in did there. you leave the show? Uh, we just got in a big argument, and I just couldn't deal with it anymore. Just too you much. Can't, too it's much. He, Your he's, Honor, this is clear <laughs> hearsay. It's just too much. Right. No, Mr. It's like, Tinkle is very washy. How is my client, who runs a very successful podcast <laughs> on a very great network, I might add. Riotcast.com. Uh, uh, the inconsistencies yeah. lack and then overlap. And, and, and Mr. Tinkle went to the enemy. Mr. Tinkle. He's on serious. Your Honor, we could all try to make money off this, but as of the current... <laughs> Current Black Caribbean fan no. said, when you make <laughs> art, you can't complain of it. <laughs> I hate to say I it. have judged. Uh, I have judged. I have my judgment. I have my ruling. Woo! You're on a can I just say one thing? I want a closing statement as well. Well, yeah, I want to say something too. All right, too. hang on one second. We're going to go Giannis, we're going to go Kelly, yes. and then Lewis Wait. Wait, I J. Gomez. Uh, first of all, I want to say my client is from San Francisco. Hey, okay. Yes. So, so my family. Uh, yeah. So he <laughs> is. Uh, you mean you mean the club that won't book me? <laughs> yeah, me yeah. neither. Well, what the fuck? Sacramento. That's only, because right? they're politer. <laughs> well, you okay. know, I can make a phone call maybe. They're well, more, yeah. I love Sac. Thank they're more you, accepting, the and they're not used to animals like it's Mr. My favorite Gomez. club in the fucking country. Mr. Yeah. Gomez, who's shadow boxing oh, right now and yeah. standing up on a podcast show. Yes. This is an animal, a well, pure that's what animal. Well, He's got no dog. parents to raise him. <laughs> that's, that's true. Actually, didn't teach him where the line was. That's true. Okay. Welcome to the His wolf. podcast. No, 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 I know where the line is. Behind me. <laughs> <laughs> the real oh. ass dude of the week. That was a fucking great line. Right All right, there. here we go. That was a fucking great line. Kelly Fastuka. Go. Wait, one more sentence. Uh, I just want to say, no, you know how fucking long-winded one, one you more. are. I just want to say, I just want to say, I can't wait till your co-host hate you too. My client is. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't shut my the fuck up. I know. He go, I, he's not even Spanish, and he talks know. in an accent. I, I try to say to him, and Spanish. And this sauce is amazing. Like, he won't shut the fuck up. My client likes to get paid. Okay, he's white. He's in his thirties. He deserves it. Ah, right. of course okay. he was. Famous. All right, Kelly, what do you got? So th you left because you couldn't get along with Lewis. Yes. So maybe we have to look at uh, Lewis's character and maybe go back through the past history of Lewis. Yeah. The things that he's yeah. done, arguments he's been with other people now. Yeah. Use that history. I'm the history fourth host who's left. I mean, well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I Kelly argue. and Chris Tinkler are not working at LOL New York anymore. Oh, what? Whoa. I'm kidding. Take your ball Lewis, and go Lewis, home. Lewis, Don't ever make Kelly's Lewis. arms jiggle underneath. <laughs> Please. All right? That this made, whole building almost yeah. lifted. <laughs> <laughs> fucking scared me. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing wind for what I'm Fucks up the magnetical... Magnetical. Let her oh. talk. Let her talk. Would, Flat just go. Not a bandana. But go. Lewis, why? Go. You don't book that room. So yeah, I know. Why my my, my girlfriend does, kind of... but I could tell her not to book. Here's the deal. Okay, now who else wanted to say something? I did. I'll okay, something Lewis, about, this is it, and then I'm making my ruling. Okay. okay. Well, I want to um, say something too. Right, you go first, and we'll, well let. Lewis. I, I started off this whole thing. We're gonna by, let Lewis end it. You're I gonna am... let you end it. Shut up. You're gonna end it. Sit down, wide hips. Go ahead. Saddlebags. 
He really does. He's like fucking he, fishing waders. Looks like he's got <laughs> popcorn in his pockets. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Right. Wow. It's already here. Oh, put that it's already down. here. It's already here. I, I don't know. Don't even put it on. You're just practicing for Cornyville that you're going to. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome. It's 8.15 in the morning. The sun's shining again. And you know what? The turtles are making their way to the ocean. Turn those hotel, hotel lights off so they don't go to the fucking hotel I, I and like, die. I like the jokes the man making in the morning <laughs> about the turtles. He's so funny. Hey, I'm Giannis Pappas. I'm at a live remote again in the swamps. Ow, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Mosquitoes are everywhere. Oh, ow. <laughs> Holy shit, this job is great. Did I just say shit? <laughs> Where's bar four? I and yes, there is a bandaid on my, on my microphone. I want to right. see the man who is always in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> like right, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, character number eight. I think oh. we have another one. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> and so I have absolutely no ill feelings towards Lewis at all. Yeah, of course. Does, but he has some to you because you have a paid show. No, I don't. No, no, no. I don't. No, no. no, no. Don't. Kelly, hold on. First of all, it's serious. It's no. serious radio. Yeah, it's, is it really paid? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if you can count pizza and water as okay. pay. I don't know. If I were Lewis, I'd be Pretzel feeling rods is what they Okay, time out. Kelly, stop trying to be a fucking instigator okay. right here, you I'm fucking not. twat bag. Kelly, you do whatever the no, fuck I don't you do want. I don't have trying to be. Hold on. Shh. First of all, you're not talking yet. He's talking. When I when I say you talk, you Stop talk. Stop standing up too. You're Go ahead. Fucking nervous. Know, Let, no, probably. look at if he needs to stand, he needs to stand. Those jeans are fucking tight. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Doing. You're done, right? You're done. Yeah, I'm You're just going to say I don't have any, any okay. ill will Good for you. towards him. He has Good no for you. ill will towards he, Listen, Lewis. And I, hey. and I was kind of bummed out that like we weren't doing the podcast anymore. It was fun, but but like I, but like I think he should have his own podcast, and I should have my own. Show. Agree, because we I, both we're like agree. Lewis. We both and have wrap ideas. it up. I'm gonna wrap it up. Wrap I, it up. I said at the beginning of this thing that I'm difficult to work with. I know I am, but I also put a lot of time, money, effort, everything into this, right. and I've been doing it for years. Yeah. So what I try to do anytime I do a podcast mm-hmm. with anybody that's involved is I try mm-hmm. to keep everybody involved, and I try to listen to everybody's opinions and ideas and everything. Yeah. And throughout the time that Tinkle was there, the yeah. first time that Vic was on board, I I feel like I gave too much. I I, I made it everybody's show. Right. Right. When the truth is, I should have done what Bobby does, which is make. And you gave me that advice, Bobby. You yeah. should have made it your show. Right. So well, it's, that last time you should always start out with it. Be if you're gonna have a show, you it should be yours from the beginning because people are gonna change, people are gonna leave, people are gonna get things. Especially yeah. when you're dealing with comedians, it has to be your thing. Yeah. That way, you can evolve. And and the fans who look. I have fans that love you guys. You guys, the people I have on the show is my show. Yeah. But that's an open door, too. Dan, there was a point where you were on the road for months. Yeah, and I'll we had Joe. And then we had Giannis. I we didn't, have to leave you behind. Sometimes. Yeah, Giannis is leaving now. And, you know, he'll be back in six months. But the thing <laughs> is, is that, <laughs> you know, Lewis... He's he's he, Lewis has stepped in. People hated him when he came on they the did. show. Now they love him. I mean, love. Kelly Festuca, we eh, we uh, <laughs> no, but people love Kelly now too. Yeah. So it always should be yours, absolutely. The, and, and here's the thing, dude. When when me and Tinkle had that last blowout, and I actually tried to pull up the email, it wasn't as simple as Tinkle saying, ah, "Dude, fuck you, I'm walking away from the show." I fucking thought about it overnight, and I sent Tinkle a really nice email saying, hey, dude, I want to be your friend. I don't want to be doing this shit. I don't want to fight with you. This is the only thing that me and Chris Tinkle fight about is this fucking podcast. It's retarded. It's an internet radio show. Right. Okay? So we know what a podcast is. You're no, retarded no, 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 no. for explaining yeah, it. Is. It is on the internet. It's a podcast. It's not- an internet radio we show. We fight, okay? That means two people don't get along. <laughs> <laughs> Argue. It's words. It's we, we don't like each other. That means the, we just don't like each the other. The absolute <laughs> truth of the matter is I fucking want Truth 100%. of the matter is that's the name of your new show. Truth the of the truth matter. Of the matter. I 100% am happy for Chris. I 100%, not 99, not 98, Whoa. not 102. And, and Kelly. 100. To answer your thing, I don't. And Kelly, to answer you. There, I'm not harboring any resentment. I don't harbor. This trial is taking place in Louisiana. My resentment is well, not in the harbor damn. or the bay or the ocean. Welcome down to the I don't, there's no part of Because there's a goddamn gator Ooh, fight coming. It's a gator fight. <laughs> His name is Yaman Pompous. <laughs> Snap it in a clapper. I'll Yo. tell you what, the weather. Ooh. 700 pounds of full grown gator. Ooh, the weather. What the weather, Giannis? You better put some crocs on a gator. What? You ever seen a crocodile on an alligator? Because that's what you're going to see. Giannis, Giannis tell us about the traffic down here in Miami. Ooh, welcome back to gator traffic. <laughs> Giannis Poppins. What's going on this evening? Ooh, big old mosquitoes. <laughs> Ooh, and a goddamn gator fighting down to my nanny. You better put down that bowl of gumbo because they look like they're a full grown gator coming your way. This guy got a five o'clock shadow at nine o'clock in the morning. Welcome to the Panhandle, New 
Jews. <laughs> we're the honest poppers. Oh, well. We're looking at preserving the wetlands, but what we ain't preserving is your wetlands. <laughs> oh, we're going to go downtown and have a gator fight. I don't Ooh. know what the Buddha had a shred. We're going to 9-5 look like a gator fight. Who the bad? The real estate down in Miami just got a surge because the Mayana the poppers is coming down for the goddamn a gator He's fight. bringing his Donna knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to make my ruling right now. Wow, that was, I wasn't even done with my point that I was making. Yeah, uh, you were. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to congratulate Chris. And honestly, I, do, I, want, dude, I a, swear to God. That's not a point. That's an ass-kissing move. No, that's so not. Just in case he has a spot in his paid that's show. That's not true at all. That he no, might. That's not even true at all. Yeah, you do. I, I would yeah. never leave Riotcast for XM. Hammer fisting? No. Maybe I'd do another show, but you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. No, I 100, I, I'm uh, genuinely for happy for you. The good. truth is, without yeah. me, he could have never had that. So I'm going to honestly say thank you to me. Wow. Yeah, because it's... He just yeah. said that you were the Giannis to his Jesse May. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, no, I didn't go that far. Whoa. Hey, Dan, that was not cool. Yeah. I hope my voice didn't come Soder, that was way. mean. Yo, You're Soder, true. that was mean, man. Yeah. I mean, Soder, that was mean. Yeah, sorry. Soder, I just reacted Yo, Soder, your I ass pussy mean. was mean. That's, that's my mean. That, that's it. That's it. That's it. I hope I hope he's not telling us the whole story about his new gig. I hope we turn on the channel and it's Mauricio. Welcome to the morning show. How you doing, Miami? So good to see you. Holy shit, that's it. And then he's got billboards across Florida. <laughs> we finally here. We made it to the promised land. I can't believe we did it. Look at all these cute Cubans here. I need to get some of this dick out here. I'm getting that money and touching these dicks. That's it. There ABC, hey. always be classy. Get money, touch dicks, and that's it. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> Dude, they're gonna make him have a dress today. within two weeks. Oh God, I hope, Bobby. I hope that's it's it. It'll be your new song, Miami. That's what I'm here to do. That's it. Going to eat those Cubans. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Bobby, uh, what's your verdict? All right, my verdict is this: Louis J. Gomez, mm -hmm. Louis J. Gomez. Wait, should we all rise for the judgment? Everybody rise. Okay. Mm. Wait, you don't. Rise you should get this photo. Rise. I love that. I, you don't really have to rise. I want to rise. <laughs> right, everybody yeah, rise. Right, let's rise. Rise, Dan. I like to rise. play by the rules. Isn't it funny that Lewis is the only one here who knows exactly what to do in court? <laughs> so, <are> you <laughs> he you was on it. By the way, shouldn't we rise? Uh, Soder wouldn't be wearing a hat because public defenders usually uh, <laughs> they give you. Yeah, a different... be standing on the left. <laughs> what is a you? Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. My verdict. Is for the defendant, yeah. Louis J. Gomez. Are you? Is this some sort of affirmative action what? bullshit? Order. Jesus Order. fucking Christ! Order. Oh, I am Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. No, thank you, Your Honor. You're right. Yeah. Lewis has to leave. Okay. Lewis, yeah. we'll see you later. Well, we'll take thank this. so much. We'll Sa take this to a court order. of appeals order. on Sirius XM. Order. Okay. Order in the court. I feel like OJ Lewis J. Great. Gomez, you can leave. Thank you very much thank for you. Listen, thank doing you so the much. show. We'll see you later. I'm not, leaving. I'm not leaving for another 10 minutes. All right. Well, now you have to leave because yeah, I told you. Them, so get out of here. Now you got an out. All right. Here's the deal. Whoa, whoa. What? What? Oh, that's because I banged. All right, did I fix it? Yeah. Kind of. I fixed it. I fixed it with a bang. Um, unbelievable, man. It's really, I, I, it's, it's funny that I feel bad for people. I feel bad for you guys when you fight. But, Lewis, you got to understand, Tinkle, and you too, because I've been on the show with you. You guys are just not meant to do, you're no. just not, you're, you're, you're a lot more serious about you, I would say this, and don't would take you, offense to it. Would you say he's got a show on Sirius? <laughs> oh, I can't stop. Tickle, you're very <laughs> serious satellite radio guy. You're corporate. You're a little more corporate than Lewis is. And you know what? Tickle, because you have nothing. a guy. You're looking at it. You were looking at this as a as a uh, uh, you know a stretch of where you can have this guy and back on, and you don't want to offend him. Lewis is looking at the moment of where it can be funny, and in, he's doing what he does on his show, which is he's gonna say shit that's gonna make people go what the fuck he's going to be funny he wants to have informative stuff about mma lewis is look at if lewis is going to be where you're at in the corporate world of serious where look you can't say whatever the fuck you want on a show like yours you can you can bring it to the edge but you can't take it over because you'll get fucking fired okay yeah. lewis needs to, i've told you you need to learn how to do that he needs to learn how to be a little more like you if he wants to be a little more mainstream that's it. And he'll, I think he'll learn that. But 
you're there right now. You being off the show is a fantastic thing for you, okay? Because you moved on, you have your new show, but I think you guys will come back at some point and you'll be back on hammer fisting. But I think Lewis is going to evolve out of hammer fisting, to be honest with you. I think he'll evolve into some type of MMA thing. MMA world needs both guys like you. You're very informative. You love the sport to death, okay? And you want to see not only uh, the sport evolve, uh, of MMA, of MMA, but you want to see people uh, learn more about it. Yeah. You want to, you want to uh, uh, teach people about it. So you both have that. You love the sport. I think you'll both evolve in your own ways. But Aww. you guys were good together too. You, the no, argument, it's, dude. It's kind of. It's but you're very. You both. In, you're both insecure people. But, but, you're insecure. You're, this the point when I said, you, and I was kidding when I said you should thank me. However, I, the the little serious part of me did that whole thing not. Uh, Criscopo. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh. Don't cross me right now. Oh, if what you, do you uh, do? What do you do? You laughed at me. Well, I don't that, like when that, people laugh. Well, it makes me uncomfortable. Gomez just hang, pulled, on, hang on, He's a comic and he don't like people. Yeah, Lewis yeah, just yelling at someone for laughing. Lewis just pulled the Pesci <laughs> move from Goodfellas. Hey, now walk mean? it over. Huh? Yeah. Walk it over to me, Spider. <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking dance the tweet. No, Spider. Here? No, the point I was making was I I definitely was a catalyst for Tinkle becoming more motivated in Oof. those areas of his wow. life. Hang one I second. Can you pass me that pad of paper? Yeah. Pass me that pad of paper real quick. Pass it to me. Pass it to me. <laughs> Get off your phone. I was setting something up. Get off your phone. I, but am I, do I, am I wrong in saying that? Like, yeah. you left <laughs> heated and Get passionate him. and angry, yeah. and you said, fuck this, I'm going to go do my own thing, and it was... It well, it was... Yeah, I mean, yeah. That had something to do with it. It was also a combination Lewis. of a lot of shit. And also, dude, I want to say, like, you know, I was like, I was really on edge all the time. I mean, yeah, you, know, you were I, always on edge. Yeah, I mean, I, I listened was going to the a lot show. Of shit, so you like, go listen. Here's the thing: you're an insecure guy, like the like I am too. We all are. We yeah. all have insecurities. The w- <laughs> is that the, the lady in red? The what? Listen, let me Sorry. tell you. Let me. Can I just say something? Can I just say something? Here's the deal: you guys, we're all insecure. We all have moments. We all, but the one thing that I know about this show is we all care about each other. We all care about each yeah. other's well-being. Damn girl. As comedians, even the guys on it's Guy Code time. and Girl Code yeah. and all the stuff, yeah. success and Guy failure, code. we all care about what, where we girl go. Code. We're comedians. Exactly. We have to stick together because we don't have a union. We don't have we don't have anybody we can go to. We have each other. Okay, so you know you separate for a little while, and Lewis, you go your way, and Tinkle, you go yours. But maybe someday you'll come back together. And I have hope a, that we, yeah, I mean, and have an MMA yeah, show dude, be awesome, where man. you guys can be at a different place in life, where you're a little more mature, yeah, no. a, a little more uh, have self-esteem, where you guys can uh, as coexist on one mic, on one show, together, doing what you got to do as friends. Yeah. <laughs> Let it play for a second. As one. <laughs> Two becoming one. All right. <laughs> wait, was that fucking? Wait, who was that? That was Manelli. Manelli, right? Manelli, girl, girl, I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss you. you. That's the song we play when things get sensitive. When, Bobby, when w- Bobby gets sensitive. Were you sad? <laughs> were you sad? I'm just gonna miss you, dude. I'm, I'm so sad. You, man. I'm very happy for you, brother, that Thank you have a what show. Do you Thank you. I seriously want to still be on the show. Yeah, Can you that's call not me? gonna happen. Just but call listen. me in, dude. Yeah, Nate tried the same thing. Dude, that we yeah. can't. You're gonna be sleeping by the time we do what the show. Do? <laughs> this is one of my favorite things. Man. You, you're what gonna, you do, Giannis, <laughs> is just like type some like horrible shit about last week's episode, and then Bobby and will be Bobby mad and call you. Happened with that video. That was boring. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fuck I, you, Giannis. Let's talk about it for an hour. I know. I fucking. What are you Woo! gonna do? It's like we make a sauce. Corey. For chef. Corey. Uh. Let Corey. Let me tell you again for the twentieth time. Okay. I really am a yammering asshole. Dude, I lost my fucking family. It's not chicken sauce, dude. <laughs> dude don't you fucking dude, call my fucking family members you, fucking sauce, don't, dude. Don't you relate. How is there cream in the sauce? Because if there's not cream in the fucking sauce, don't dude, you, it's nothing like my fucking family. It's cream-based relate, sauce because they don't like that. Don't you relate my family to something delicious, dude. <laughs> dude, don't you know I get that, distracted dude. when you mention delicious sauces. You gotta sit there and mention sauces when I'm talking about my fucking family. Dude, food is not my life, dude. <laughs> is it like a spaghetti sauce, dude? Or is it like a sauce you put on maybe a sandwich? <laughs> the hook. Like a horseradish sauce? Because that gets me spicy, but I like it. Hit Lewis in one of his creative character tattoos. Uh, it really is. Now I'm taking the hit right at the yeah. end, too. I'm fucking just uh, sitting here taking a hit. Everybody uh, gets it. Oh, God. This Listen, man. fucking show. You're right. I am a fucking... I am a... I am a 
yammering. I, I, you know what I've really tried to work on is I'm a repetitive jackass. Yeah. I will fucking bring up the same thing over. That's what you did to Corey and over. Yeah, yeah. You told him about ten times. You're you like, let me say one more time what I just said again. <laughs> You'd be an unbelievable drill sergeant. I would. I would. Like, Dad, you fold your corners, Dad. <laughs> you fold your corners. How do we make our bed, Dad? We gotta fold the corners. Is dad. that a donut in yes. your foot locker? Where were you from, Dad? Texas. You know where it comes from, Texas, Dad. Steers and queers, dude. Steers and queers. Steers and queers. Steers and queers. Steers and queers. Steers and queers, dude. Okay, I got it. Give me steers and queers. Come from Texas, dude. I know I heard you. No, you didn't hear me. It's a steer and then a queer. It's a cow, dude. It's a steer is a male cow, dude. You know what a fucking steer is? I fucking been around cows, dude. Back when I was in fucking juvie, they used to take us out the cow fields, dude. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> here's the deal. I'm not going to fight it. Listen, <laughs> you're absolutely right. The fans of this show, I all the ones I blocked this week, I, I really, I fucked up. It's me. <laughs> Why are you blocking fans? You block people? I I don't, don't I don't I don't block. People. I never I, blocked I, the person. You gotta don't let them say what they shut say. Shut up! I don't block. I block. I, this is what I block. You ready? People who aren't following me, who aren't my fans, <laughs> yeah. who don't like me. Right. I, hey, you fat fucking annoying cunt! Fucking hope you die and you fucking die again. You're like mom. Yeah. I don't. I, that's the people I block. I don't. I would never block anybody. A fan of mine, you know. We're all about the fans here at You Know What, Dude. We are, man. Yeah. We are. We They're love great. fans. Yeah, Unless you don't best. like an episode, then we will fucking murder your yeah. family. Dude, I had him on the show. Come on, yeah. son. Dude, you're the only people that, people that say bad things are the only people that get on the show. All the people that love it. Well, you know when What's he's that? There's, the, like, and there's been a few peop times people have been on the show that have had bad things to say. Yeah. Kelly, yeah, can you say that like Tori Amos? Corey's going to be going up tonight at some open mic going, come into the stage right now. You might have heard him on the You, you Know, know what, what Do yeah. podcast. Next yeah. Monday. Give it up for <laughs> half a vegan, Corey, black guy. I love, that. I love his aggressive Jackson. technique, though. He's like, why does it got to be about black? Why does it got to be about being black? Such a that, by the way, he's because just, it's always that about guy, black. By the way, that guy... Just fucking not funny. Like everything he was saying. Jesus yeah. Christ. No, no, no. no. That's a f dude, fuck that. What's well, gonna be about black? Are you a fucking comic, dude? Are you kidding me? You're gonna actually say those words? They're gonna. That's. That, a, he, but I think he was trying to be funny. No, he wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah, he was. He was trying to just. Do I think work, he was yeah. trying. I don't think he was trying to be no, political. Him, him mentioning his big dick. <laughs> that's when, a very unfunny comic thing to do. Yeah, look at corporate Dan is. Uh, I <laughs> just want to say to all my African American fans, uh, I'm way on board. Uh, it isn't slavery, about yeah. slavery was unfair in the justice system. <laughs> Leverage. Unjust. Uh, it's unjust. Uh, justice for Trayvon. I uh, just want to apologize for everything Lewis said. Uh, you can catch me upstate. Uh, what did I say wrong? That wasn't that wrong. You just spoke. You when you speak, it's wrong. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Uh, you can't push the mic away when yeah. it's out of the thing. You don't like him, do you? Fucking I, I can't stand Kelly anymore. It's really? Over. It's over. I, something happened where he just started hating me. Because you're annoying and fucking. I haven't seen him in two weeks. And then I think. I think. I think yeah, Lewis is a woman hater. Woman hater at all? No, I think you hate women. I think he just. What do you think about that, Tinkle? I think he just hates. That's not true. <laughs> he's a dot, hater. Dot, dot, dot. He's, yeah, yeah. he's a hater. But he's like one of those uh, old fishermen where you're like, "What's the, what is the problem with the sea?" He's like, "It's just the sea. That's <laughs> everything." Was angry that I, day, I, yeah, friends. Tinkle, you're being very weird, quiet today. I don't yeah. know what it's happened to you because he's too big for no. this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, no. I'm just like, dude. I'm just like, kind of watching, watching the show. No, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be on the show. I, 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 I don't have sit in that things. chair if you're gonna watch. By the way, side note, he did post on Facebook rejected uh, title names for the show. Real ass dude, uh, real ass dude radio. That, you, you, that was never an option. You're you gonna that, take. Right? You're gonna take that name. Dude, you're. There was never I an hate, option. No, I he hate that joking. whole uh, phrase. Is a right, fucking better joke. Be, it better be fucking. What do you joke. mean? I hate the phrase. I hate his whole fucking thing. I hate that goddamn song. You realize dude of the week. It makes my balls fucking. You hate it. Why? Yes, Why do you it? hate it? Because it's so lame. Why? Oh, wow. And, and so Why? Real but, ass it's dude. Re but it's real ass yeah, dude Yeah, but you don't have shit. to call yourself. Tinkle, it's, it's fucking, like, it's, it's like, called being funny. It's called half sarcasm. And, and it's funny job, that it's really I'm funny, calling man. myself a real ass dude. It's 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 making fun of that whole thing. Let's get it going again. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to see. It's truly funny. You can just let him fucking say that, Chris? Yeah. Hang on one second. Hello. Hang this on, Chris. Is the second time he's done that to you. Go on, Chris. Do you? I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. Do you, 
<laughs> you really thought you you would never physically fight Lewis. I mean, no, you know, that doesn't no, come dude, into your brain. Dude, right? stood up, and I was like, oh man, no, because him. he stood up to me, and then like I stood up to him, and I remember I was looking. I like Vic for like, all right, Vic, are you going to try to get out of that chair? Or, Vic was uh, just wheezing to get yeah. out of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized. Vic wow. stopped it. Vic stopped it. The Jesus. only people who could have helped were like, we're, we're, we're going to the podcast Vic, like a week later. So Vic like, stopped it by just falling on you two. <laughs> I'll splash off the top chair. The, the shadow came over us like Independence Day. We're like, oh, Vic. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whatever. Dude, we took it. that from a big J joke. <laughs> Actually, you know, that is a big J joke. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 You're a hack. Oh. Oh. You just stole. Oh. Stealing shit. Stealing You're like shit. Dope. Did you guys almost really come to blows for real? No. Dude, I got mad and I what get you... fucking up. And I, I'm assuming in his head there was a fight about to happen. Could you take him? You were like three yes. inches in front of my face. You were standing. Chris? I mean, dude. Hang on, hang on. Could you take him? Well, we weren't going to fight or anything, but you were like right in my. Shut and like, it, dude. Shut him up. Shut him up. Go ahead. <laughs> were you guys going about to fight or what? <laughs> I love a fight, a fight, a spit can of white. The white don't win. Tell the story. Fight. Tell the story. Whoa, whoa, fucking. Tell the story. No, he, he got, he got. We, we kind of got each other's faces. So, and then, but, it, but I mean, it was clear. It was clear. Yeah. Like we weren't gonna fight though. I love Tinkle's like version of this, like this big fucking crazy hero story. In in his mind, a hero. Dude, I said I wouldn't. He, he defended Kelvin Gastelum and walked out and almost fist fought me, and that's the way the show ended. No, that's the, not no, what happened at that? all. Who said that? You. That's not what I said. That's your gist of what you said the first time was the reason you left the show is because I uh, disrespected one of the guests and we almost got into a fist fight. That's what cage match SmackDown. That was one of the arguments, you, but that wasn't. On your new show, are you by yourself or with other people? Uh, no, it's uh, I have a uh, co-host. What's it's, his? Uh, uh, Jason Shabiro, he's the um, he's like he works for like Raw Dog. He's a uh, uh, Jew. That's how you got there. the show. He's a producer. <laughs> <laughs> on the, yeah, that's how you just lost your. And show so you have somebody. an MMA. <laughs> 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 that was not uh, Giannis, Giannis Papas. Can we talk to you in our office real quick? Yeah, All right, that, we'll that, see you that, later. That's very funny. We were um, listening to what? you know what dude podcast. What did you say? I need help from you. When? Before I left. Why? What do you need? Hang what, on. What, well, why don't you talk about it? Because there was all this other shit. You, what are you, you doing warm up for? What are you doing? Uh, it's, the crowd goes wild on Fox Sports One. Okay. Has anybody ever done warm up? No. Yeah. Oh, you know, that I show mean, is awful, dude. No, it's I, the greatest it's, show on TV. It, it, listen, no, sorry, that, that's sorry. a great show. It yeah, is don't a great fucking show. throw a show under the bus. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck has this whole episode been? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's not about that. It's Giannis's Miami morning show. That's not a real show. <laughs> all right. Come on, sorry. are you guys not going to fight? Listen, I'm disappointed too, mate. Listen, Lewis. No, no. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm licking my lips like LL. Oh, I don't want to say. I don't want to say bitch. I love yes. that. I love that. Giannis is producing oh. the show. New Timberland. Yeah, oh. we go, Lewis. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm getting. Oh my god. Oh god. Lewis, I, get I love carbs, Gomez. Oh holy god, fuck. that body my is god. not what it used to be. Woo. That body is fucking Woo. holy yeah, shit. It's like, it's like the after the after photo. Yeah. Yeah. It's like holy shit. My god, that looked this like a sh- pregnant Russian woman. <laughs> 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 holy best. shit, Lewis is the greatest. Lewis, he's a real ass dude. Has anybody done opening? I, you know, it's weird. I had a show. Around three weeks ago in Connecticut for the Chaz and AJ show. And one of the guys that went on before me was a professional warm up guy. And his whole act was pretty much where are you from? What do you do for work? And he had something funny to say about everything. What happened? The door just moved. Oh, is that, you know, because he backed up into it. Oh. Did you open the door? Yeah. We thought it was yeah, a we because thought it was I thought the door was fucking Lewis, moving. listen, this is what you do, bro. You got to be high. Really? Smile. You have to smile. <laughs> smile. Do it. Smile. Oh, smile. Goes, well, I'm your host and warm up guy. Oh, I suck. You're not a host. <laughs> I suck so much. No, listen. Why'd you left? Don't leave. Thank listen, you. Lewis. So look at me, Lewis. I'm so mad. I can't see the N word right now. <laughs> listen, Lewis. <laughs> listen, smile. Smile right now. And, and, and you, like pretend we're the crowd. So come out, come out, grab the microphone. Pretend come that out. you like me. Grab the microphone. No, no, come out. Hey, we're the crowd. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your warm-up comedian, Louis G. Gomez. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay. It's no, Jay. No, you can't do it. You can't lost. do that. You already lost. You, you already lost. Hit. Take the you hit. You can't take the hit. Okay. Gotta take, Gotta the take hit. the hit. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your warm-up comedian, Louis Z. Gomez. <laughs> 
Kill yourself, hey, fool! Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm your warm-up, Luis Shea Gomez. I Why is Aaron good? Hernandez warming up? <laughs> yeah, why are you... <laughs> Isn't he in jail? <laughs> did he kill somebody? <laughs> why are you putting your hand in what your pocket? What the fuck is Aaron it's Hernandez doing here? Did you see what he did? And how did Aaron get so fast so fast? <laughs> yeah. uh, Lewis, first off, hang on. Hang on one second. <laughs> Don't put your hand in your pocket. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's a shit move. <laughs> yeah, you're not... What are you? Who hey, are you? What's going on, guys? How you feeling? Talking to the mic. We can't hear We're you. We're going to have a great, great show today. We can't guys. hear you. Talk My to fucking television, motherfucker. That's you, Lou. My line cross is a lot. It just, he can't go more than 10 seconds without crossing Dude, a listen, line. I did it yesterday. It was not good. Yeah. Listen, have fun. It was not good. Look at me. I did not. I want you to smile. Oh, what happened? Smile. Come on. Watch this. Ready? Watch yeah. me. Ready? Watch yeah, me. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We're, we're the crowd. We're the crowd. Go. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome your warm-up comedian, Robert Kelly. All right. Hey, let's, what's going on, everybody? How you feeling today? Hey. Hey. I'm good, sir. Listen, I want you to I want to feel how you, how doing, you feeling. How you doing, King Kong Bundy? I <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. I got Robert WrestleMania too, man. I did. I'm a little chunky, ain't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. A little chunky. A little. Woo. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, here's the thing, guys. I want to hear your energy right now with applause. Woo. Let me hear applause. Yeah. What about this side of the room? Let me hear this side. Yeah, what about this side? Yeah. This oh, this side isn't as good. What about the front? Yeah. All right, now what about all together? Yeah. All right, you guys ready to have a good show? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, where'd you get that face? Game of Thrones? Oh. I'm kidding. Oh. You're a good-looking guy. You're a good-looking guy. I'm kidding. Hey, dude, uh, that's not... Fu- his fucking parents are Neanderthals. That's not cool. <laughs> hey, man, relax. Don't get too crazy, that Greek face. Oh, <laughs> hey. When did you shave? Five minutes ago? Oh, <laughs> are you a woman? Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. Hey, are you ready to have a good time? Yeah. How do, wait a minute. How do we do that? How do you show me that? Energy. Energy. Yeah. We're going to have a great show. Fox Sports 1, one of my Woo. favorite shows. Do you like the show? Yeah. yeah. What I've, you, never, I've never seen it. You've never seen the show? Well, you're going to have a great time today because you're here live, oh. and you guys are the ones who make this show. I want to tell you a little something about me. First of all, yeah. I have a brand new baby. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. We're not going to keep it. Ah. <laughs> Very expensive to live here. Where are you from? Ah. Where are you from? Idaho? Oh. All right, you guys ready? Are you ready to start the show? Yeah. How do you tell me you're ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. We're going to start the show. Yeah. Dude, can I use all of that? Yeah. Dude, just fucking tape that and just yes. play it. Dude, I have 12 sports trivia questions in my pocket right now. Listen to me, man. No, don't do that. Use no, the answer was Carl Yastrzemski. Smile. Carl Yastrzemski. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me. Smile. Use, yeah. use your energy. Have fun. If you have fun, listen to me. Incorrect, guys. That was Robin Listen. Down. Shut up. Listen. Shut up. If you have fun, they'll have fun, okay? Don't, don't be insecure. Yeah. Have fun. Have what? Oh, God, you're going to oh, bomb. Boy. Why is Dude, the boy... Why would you ever think about doing comedy? Why would you <laughs> say <laughs> the N-word in front of me? <laughs> Dude. What? Yeah, go ahead. Regis and Bill Cosby what? in the same room at the same time. What is he doing? Is, that, is it Regis' place, show? Yeah. yeah oh, dude, Jesus. It, I mean... Is he gone? Is who he gone? Hired who, who hired you? Why are you... No, you can't leave I'll your take, shirt I'll here. Take it. I'll take it. I'll drop it off. He's it an is. asshole. It's not really a shirt as much as it's just a piece right. of cloth that covers up the Listen, Giannis, what are you doing now? What are you producing I'm now? Just oh, no, I wasn't. Producer Giannis Listen, the Listen, stick the phone no, under your right pocket. Back at you. We're going to have a time Put the temperature phone. top of the hour. All right, You're listen. listening to Body of the Gang on the morning. Dad, what did you Q hear tonight? Q107.5. Like, Take your shirt. Up, everybody. This no, is you waka can't waka. leave. <laughs> this isn't a locker room, you asshole. Everybody, welcome back. What? It's a sunny, Give it to her. She'll bring it to you. Florida. You're and see what she does? She's nice. You're listening to Tampa's number one classic rock station. <laughs> We're, yeah, back. Right. We're looking at a future local radio guy. We're back with Bobby and the hey, gang. The network <laughs> went under, but we got you a gig on radio <laughs> on honestly, AM. Do you know anything about light music? About <laughs> light music. Welcome back. We're about jazz. to listen to a little Millie Vanilli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl, you know it's true. I still got it. I did it in the, my rental car the other day. I still got my radio chops. What's up? It's Dan Schroeder. No, that's not even it. See, you lead you, you lead with the... Uh, Why would you not let him make fun of you? You yeah. just made fun of him Oh, what's up? It's Dan Schroeder. <laughs> How you guys doing? All right, I'm from Denver. Hey, uh, buddy. How's hey, it going? buddy. Hey, gosh. Yeah. No, totally. I agree yeah. with what you're saying. I disagree with... No, I agree hey, with that. Hey. Okay, no, I agree. All right. I whoa, agree. Whoa, whoa, I, whoa, whoa. I agree. Hey. I agree and I disagree. Can you I know do what that? that? You know what that deserves? A uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, next caller. Uh, <laughs> I like this. I'm taking my it. mom. This is wacky. 
I'll take the smash. Uh, all right, yeah. I'll take Do the you smash. know what it's like? Your next call. All right. Soda. <laughs> we're calling this soda pop in the morning because we're fuzzy and blah, blah, blah. Popping in the morning. Sometimes you get a little gas. <laughs> All right. Next caller. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Listen to me. Soda you're pop, listening okay. to you know what, dude. Do you really, are, you really, uh, are you really happy that you're off that show? He is fucking miserable. Yeah. No, no I mean, I'm not happy, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, we just can't. You guys were good friends, too. Yeah. Hey, me and Lewis were good friends. Well, look at. I don't know what happened with him. Wait, wow. Well, I mean, you guys are really Stop. turning on him as he leaves. <laughs> no, no, no. I talk about this all no, the time. Dude, I was trying so, to turn on him like an hour ago. <laughs> do, you, do you think something happened to Lewis? I don't know. I just. Uh, I don't think he, can, he can't get over things easily. He holds on to grudges too mm. long, and it's like I'm over it. Stop. Relax. Be a, be an adult. Come on. And he just he just harbors a lot of anger. It is weird how calm the energy in the room is. <laughs> <laughs> it really That's became a different really podcast. Really yeah. Yeah. Still funny, yeah. yet not as fucking. Whenever he's always like ready, to, Bobby. I should. It's like <laughs> Lewis, and he stands up for no reason. Yeah. It's just like, dude, that's like crazy. Here's energy. the thing about Lewis. Lewis has. I have the same reaction to Lewis walking into the room as I do. If it just if a Rottweiler just walked in right now, <laughs> I'd be like, Why is there no owner? There's no owner to that. Why does anyone have a leash on that thing? Oh God, it's coming up to me. It's I'll tell you something me. though. He is. He is fantastic on this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Lewis is like I couldn't. I don't. I couldn't even imagine this podcast like, without him now. He's fine. I, fantastic in life, I've though. allowed Lewis to spread his wings. He's unbelievable on this, yeah. And to <laughs> become what he is. You say, hey, you know what? He, this is an off-leash dog park here, buddy. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the thing, though. Sniff all the butts yeah. you want. This is <laughs> off-leash hours all yeah, day. You just I don't gotta, even have a leash. Go. You, you don't touch Lewis when it's hot out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go and check his collar. He'll fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just starts getting aggravated, too. Yeah. You're like, are you looking at Don't look at him in the eye. Yeah, don't, don't look at him directly. The greatest line he said today was, I know exactly where the goodbye. line is. Goodbye. Right me. behind me. Yeah. It was goodbye. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fail. I failed at this yesterday. I suck at this. I suck. What do you mean? You suck at people skills? Yeah. Any? But you know how easy it is to be an open up guy, open up guy, a warm up guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying this professional ones that have worked on it for years, like that guy who li- could just fucking yap at anybody, and he has something to say because yeah, just he's be built- excited though. Be excited. Yeah, you got to be excited and happy to be there, and not yeah. scare the tourists. Yeah, which right. is what he's gonna do. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, he he does better today because look, man. Fuck everything. I, we may come down on people's gigs and shit, but it, this business is too hard to not. Yeah. Fuck it. Good for everybody. You got something good for you. Yeah, I don't absolutely. give a fuck We're what. Yeah, I'm good for happy for you, even though you've never even called me to even be the co-host of the show on the MMA thing. But that's cool. Because you're on uh, right cast balls, man. I own it. Yeah, I, I know. Well, yeah, that's, that's not really. That's that's I own that's the that's balls. Yeah, his balls are <laughs> Those are my balls. balls. <laughs> balls <are> Fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I'm sucking my own nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, good for you, Tinkle. I'm happy for you, and I'm glad you're you're happy on the show. That's it, Giannis. I'm gonna miss the yeah, fuck out of you, I'm brother. I'm really disappointed. I'm gonna miss you too, man. I hope that when you come back, and you will. A uh, couple months. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> not for good. I'm mean, you're, you're gonna. I'm telling you right now, yeah. you're gonna be a hit down there. You're gonna oh, be thanks, hit down man. there, and wherever the fucking show is, Thank you, man. you're gonna be. Uh, this is a. I know it was a hard move to make. It was and tough, you, and you did it, and you, life pushed you in a certain direction. Even when you said no, it was like no, you're doing this, yeah. which is great. So you helped me with the decision too. Is I appreciate that. You, man. you're I gonna appreciate you took the time to talk me any talk any time, and while you're down there, you call me too. Yeah. Anything you need. Sorry, the, Corey. The transition. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Can we have a moment, <laughs> asshole? Oh, <man>. Jesus, <laughs> Corey. The moment you, you're gonna the transition's gonna be fucked up too. So yeah. you know what? Call me anytime. Thank you. It's gonna be a weird thing, but don't don't get fucked up over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. My kid only cry he cries when I pick him up to take him from here to there or to change him to the table. Transitions. He hates it. Everybody yeah. does. It's always fucking tough. Even the best transitions are fucking tough. Yeah. So just give me a buzz. But when you come back, let us know because we'll do we'll do shows yeah. for you. Yeah. Maybe Absolutely. if it's on a Sunday or a Saturday. I would love to. You know what I mean? Really? Will you guys do that? Because yeah. I want to continue Abs- to be on this. Absolutely. Unless, unless the 49ers gonna, are playing. Yeah. yeah. And gonna, if it's a if it's you know rainy. Yeah. Rainy. If if it's uh, yeah it's the winter hot. time. Don't I do it intend, in the winter. I intend on coming back like once a month. Yeah. For yeah. Thursday Absolute. night, Friday, wanna, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, honestly, we'd have, we'll do the show on Thursday night for you. Uh, I swear honest, to God. All right. Yeah. And you're honestly one of the most talented dudes I know. And I think Thank you're you, going to so do. Uh, I was. So dope. 
Listen, somebody told me about you a long time ago don't. to listen to your uh, Mauricio video, mm -hmm. and I watched it, and I was like, I don't get it. But the thing <laughs> is... <laughs> Uh, no. it's, a, it's a chick with a dick. Bobby, okay. don't do that to me, Bobby. I know, baby. You're listen. You're so cute. Don't make me start uh, to hate you. Plus, I'm going to fuck you up. I can do that, too. I, I can know, fuck you I or know. I can fuck you up. We can baby, do it which way you ever want to do it. Right? Let's not do the either. Easy way, the hard way or the hard way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> it's the hard way or the hard way. <laughs> either way, somebody going to get fucked. It's not going to be me. I love you, baby. To tell you. Baby, I love you. And congratulations, Mauricia, on your, your new... Thank uh, you so much, Bobby. Uh, all right. Uh, Soda, I'm so glad you're back. It's great to be back. I, I loved I, you. I took a nice, uh, I did the Dan Soder I'll Never Go Back There tour. <laughs> <laughs> where, where were you? Oh, we went to all the hit places. Marco Kansas, Island. Marco Island. Kansas. Kansas City. You did Stanford San and San Antonio. San Antonio. It's just, you know what it is? Uh, you, you know what you're doing? I don't think people realize, who listen to this podcast, I don't think a lot of people realize how much you mentor, mentor a lot of us who, like, dude, I was on the road yeah. for fucking seven weeks just taking an ass kicking yeah. and and anytime I needed you to be there for me you were there and then you also shit on me you're like dad you want to be a fucking headliner yeah. this is what you fucking get yeah. stay in the condo take your fucking beatings yeah. fucking say hello <laughs> but you know what it is it's like you come back and you just yeah. like yeah I, I missed the podcast I was listening on the road and shit yeah. but I also knew what I was doing was yeah. I needed I you, need to do this you made your bones baby yeah. the one thing that people this is what I feel bad for the people that get this quick success yeah. is that you didn't make your bones yeah. so yeah. when you can you're going to go out I I look at mm -hmm. after torgasm I was headlining yeah mm -hmm. but I wasn't a headliner yeah. yet you understand yeah. I wasn't a headliner and uh, all these people showed up but when it went away can you deal with when it goes away? Right. Yeah. That's what Can you deal with when when the when the net the second time you're at that club or the third time you're at that club and you didn't sell the tickets and the owner didn't show up because you know what? You didn't sell as good. He's not making money. And you know, oh when you're at a new club and it's not packed out and yeah. it's a Thursday night and there's there's twenty people there and they uh, they gave away a shitload of tickets. Yep. Can you deal with that? Can you be funny in front of any crowd, mm. anywhere, because you don't have a B plan. And I, this is what you do. One, and uh, I, you said one of the greatest things on here. You said what makes a career on here is if you can survive those, the yeah. downslides. Yeah. If you can, if you can st ha and, still be funny yeah. and have a career on the downslides. Yeah. And, and, you know, and to be honest, I mean, yeah, there's fans coming out from the podcast, but, you know, they're, they're a couple. Yeah. I'm, I'm not selling yeah. tickets. No one knows who the fuck I am. Not yet. So, But, it, but it, it is great to go in there. And it, while it sucks while it's happening, yeah. when you get through it, you're like, fucking. And I love coming back to the city and doing spots. Yeah. You get to rip it for 15 minutes. And you know what? When you The next thing you get, you're going to pop. It's going to be bigger and better. And you're going you're gonna to fucking, when that crowd does show up, yeah. when you do get that pop, when you do get those fans, you're going to you're gonna know what to do with it. Yeah. So I, you're going to know how to handle it. Yeah. It's good, dude. It's so good. It's, just, it's good to be back. And of course, yeah. I'm going to miss Giannis. Miss yeah. you, so you know, Yeah. We'll, we'll have him back on. Yeah. And uh, we'll, Couldn't we're gonna, be prouder we're gonna Soder, promote the I can't be prouder of you, dude. He fucking All right, this did is getting the tough. Gay. No, he did the I feel like <laughs> Corey <laughs> right now. <laughs> Soder did all, made all the tough decisions to make sure that he's in the best position to continue to fucking get the success that he deserves because he's so talented. Thanks, man. Yeah. Soda, I'm He got his shit together. He, well, he takes care of himself. Yeah, but he's fucking... It's not easy. He's making his bones. Yeah. You're out there fucking becoming a stand-up. Yeah. You know, you're Which evolving. Which is one of, like... That's the it's highest hard. It's one of the highest compliments you can yeah, get, Yeah, but though. dude, he it's took hard. his demons and he fucking put them in a cage, man. And yeah. that's the best we thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. We all are. We all are. We're all doing it. I mean, do, you... Man. You left. You left your demon on the fucking <laughs> right, <laughs> right before he gained a bunch of weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. My demon's bombing in front of fucking Regis and Bill Cosby right now. <laughs> so you guys, do you like uh, pizza? Uh, so how come you're not wearing a sweater, Bill? <laughs> Ohio, uh, that's pretty gay. Yeah, I heard a lot of fucking queers come from Buffalo. Uh. Don't what? get to me about the blacks. Wait, hold on. Bill Cosby's telling me to quit like <laughs> Nate's joke? Yeah. I'm actually living out Nate Bargetti's joke. I'll tell you what, Lewis. I have a show coming out, okay. possibly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I ain't putting you on it. 
Uh, <laughs> it's getting produced by a little guy named, we don't even, I just call him Jimbo. That's yeah, how Jimbo. close we are now. Yeah. yeah. I was close to giving up this fucking business, and thank God I'm an alcoholic, and I fucking <laughs> learned how to stay out later than I should, and I hung out with Jim, <laughs> and he fucking gave me something, because he's fucked up, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nate Bergazzi. Remember that cocksucker used to do the show? Yeah. Remember the show? Remember? I don't know. Now he's too big. Every time I call him, he's on a golf course now. Yeah. Oh, my God. This motherfucker used to do the... Uh, guest spot. Guest spot, which I invented for him. So funny. As mm. soon as he got a deal, you know what he told me to do with that guest spot? Right up your fucking ass. Bobby, look me in my round eyes, Bobby. <laughs> Go fuck <laughs> yourself. I'm going I'm duck hunting. <laughs> uh, call uh, Jimmy, see if yeah. I'm available. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bobby, I don't have time to do a three-minute guest spot for you. I'm going to go right now to church and then play golf. Uh, but I'll tell you, we may need some extras for my show, and if I need like a yeah. working class fat yeah. guy, I yeah. will call you. If I have to have to bump into a sore guy <laughs> or some type of cleaner. So uh, if I need a guy who looks weathered, I will call you. If I need a guy that <laughs> might just got out of homelessness, I will All right, listen, I got to do some ads right now. You guys want to talk amongst each other, right? Mm. Do I have to do ads? Um, yeah, well, did you do the, um, the pill one? Okay, um, before I do these ads, let's just uh, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Okay, Chris Tinkle, you have a new show coming out. Yes, it's, um, it's going to be called the uh, Paper Champions, and it'll be on the uh, I believe it's a uh, Sports Zone on Sirius XM. And I great. And can I say one more thing? I'll be Absolutely. Headline Caroline's uh, Comedy Club on September 10th. Fuck yeah! That's great, first, buddy. First That's awesome, headline, man. Good. Uh, listen, make sure you guys get tickets to that. All right, this is the one thing when you headline Caroline's for the first time. I remember doing it. I think I had a hundred people there, but it was because of my fans and and, and and social media that you came and support me. When you can have that many people at your first headliner show, even fifty is a great is great. So support Tinkle. Go down there. You know him from the hammer fisting. Now we have his own MMA show, and 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 serious. You know we fuck with you, but serious does great MMA. Uh, they have great MMA shows on Sirius Satellite yeah. Radio. They really do. Um, so make sure you support the show by listening to that. Let them know you heard. Let them know you. Uh, that's what I love. Come up after the show. Let them know you heard them on the uh, YKW Dude podcast. Uh, well, let's go to. I want to go to uh, Kelly first. Go ahead, Kelly. Um, I'm going away for a little bit, so I'll see everyone in about a month. It's sad. And, uh, Where are you going? Australia. She's going yeah. to Australia for how long? Uh, I'll be away for about a month. And oh. Chris, get on mic. You're going to be taking her place. Yes, I am. Oh, I All thought right. there was a joke. Are you? No, he's taking okay. her place. No, I'm having a break. Are you going to be able to handle this, dude? Yeah, I'll be able to handle it. He was great today. You know yeah. what he said to me today? What? what do you need? And I yeah. texted him, and he had it. And he waited downstairs for me and then walked me upstairs. Yeah. And I dropped something, and he literally picked it up. That's what I do. You're a fucking good guy. He's a good kid. Yep. Chris now, Scopo. I love it. So it's interesting to find out what, what how funny you are, too, because you haven't really said much. Well, how are you get a word in? What Shut up. I'm talking to Chris, the <laughs> new guy. I get a word in. I get a word in. Huh? <laughs> All right, good, but you're going to be fine? I just don't want to get you mad. You look like you're going to get mad. No, I... I talking to the mic. Like, I have that New York person. I have that New York it's fucking Queens. attitude. All right, well, talking yeah. to the mic. First thing you're going to learn is stay on the mic. You don't yeah, need you, you don't need to look at me. You can <laughs> just hear me. He's still off. He's still yeah, you're off. still off. <laughs> on the mic. You <laughs> can't gotta, get any closer just, to the mic. Right just there. line it you up got to stay mouth. on the mic. There you go. All right. All right. Yeah, I have that New York attitude anger in me, but... Be all, right. all right. Well, no, I don't. No, I don't need that. I don't, I'm angry. I don't need two angry guys. No, no, no. I I'm need you to be my. You're gonna be my right hand man. Yeah. Are course. you gonna be able to fucking take care of business? Yeah, I'll yeah. be here for you, Bobby. <laughs> all right. We, we've New York guys. Yeah, as long we as you know, we do. Yeah, as long I mean, as you don't piss me off, just, I'll you know, fucking don't get you. Don't say anything out of line. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, an earner. <laughs> what do you got, though? Uh, Dansoda.com. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know what's coming up. There might something. You got cool, great shit. Something cool might be coming up. Love it. So, uh, but check my website, please. I love it, Dan. Uh, I love it. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna miss you, Giannis. We'll get you a little. Uh, oh no, you you're do. the sweetest thing. Oh, in the world. and I need it now. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Corey. Oh. Corey earmuffs. We're getting real. Yeah, <laughs> Corey, yeah, Corey go fuck yourself. Shut right? up! Don't hey, say that. Right. Hey, the there's fuck? no money in it. All right. Oh. Did you want money? No, this is great, dude. I'm gonna cher cherish this. Do you have a poster? This is unbelievable. Shit. I got you an individual as well. This is an <laughs> this is Can I see that? Can she I see it? Fuck yeah, it. let me see that. You don't get individual it's cards. Separate. That's what the she podcast. does this all the time. What, you, what is that? I'll that's, what you tried, that's how she tried separating me and you. I when won't she do first that, got Bobby. on the podcast. Oh. What'd she, she do? You, she would get you gifts. Yeah, but what do you say? You don't give the separate. 
On no. the air, Kelly. Oh, okay. That's okay. a very girl thing to do. Because I think he's about do. to leave, and I don't oh, want to. Yeah. He's not leaving for good right after the show. There's not a helicopter waiting <laughs> <laughs> with fucking Miami 101 on the side. Thank you. El DeBarge is an outside wedding to fucking That's get. Good reference. Thank you. Holy shit. Yeah. This is almost as good as the birthday gift my ex girlfriend got me on my birthday. What'd your day. girlfriend get you? <laughs> a nice Vine video of her, um, her almost making out with Jeff Dye. That oh. was. Oh my God. That was birthday the greatest. Buddy. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> as, someone that as someone that got wow. to experience it with him, yeah. it was a pretty good gift. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why would she do I'll that on your that birthday? I'll put that on the podcast because it's hilarious. Why would she put that on your birthday? Because she I... didn't wasn't thinking. She doesn't think about my birthday. She didn't care. And, uh, you did know, she call you on your birthday? Jeff Dye is a perfect looking human being. Gorgeous. Is he good looking? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's good looking. Oh, Jesus. We oh. Should, can right. we, have, can we get... actually asked me about him. Tall, like, dark, Jeff Dye? Do you know who Jeff Dye is? I want to really suck hot. his... I want to suck well, his... I know That's the only thing I'll say on this podcast. Everything else... But that was hilarious. Yeah. Here's the deal. We're going to get her and him on the show. Because <laughs> I think they'll be and just we're as call funny. You hey, and, uh, listen, my ex is a good person. And I hope do you think she come? Would you be mad if I had her on the do, show? Huh? Not to talk about you, but no. Then you better talk about me if she's on the fucking show. Would you? Would I, you agree, hear I yeah. agree with him. Yeah. If you have her on, you better. Talk, I don't want her to fucking talk about her what she's doing. First of all, that would be it wouldn't be a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> God, I'm just kidding. That's what, what we do. Listen, people have been mad at me who are close to me. It's not just my girlfriend. There's other people who've been close to me who've been mad about. All right, look. First of all, if you see me on stage, I say whatever's going on. So stop fucking getting mad at me. Secondly, that's what we do here. We fucking bust balls. So it's not all. We take we take yeah. the real pain of life yeah. and make fun yeah, of it. Yeah, come on. Except last week's podcast. Right. I'm talking just specifically to my management. Okay? <laughs> stop being so fucking mad. Oh, uh, were they mad about that? They were not mad. They were a little. One of them was a little sensitive. Which I know which one. Yeah, of course, the sensitive one. The other ones grew up in Brooklyn, getting his ass kicked every day. Which, He's used to it. Which one was mad? Uh, Come on! I, I don't want to say it now on the podcast. It was was it was it <laughs> no? But look, was it Chris? I, I didn't. If anyone was there, mad, listen to it? me. I love my management. They're doing a great job. Yeah, they're and doing. As yeah. comedians, we always yeah. complain about our fucking management. Yeah. What happened? In I Edinburgh, don't. I fucking never oh, complain God, about my mine management. Mine is literally an angel sent. I from fucking <laughs> lo- Jim Serpico is the bomb. Brian Stern might be uh, the hardest hitter in the business. Jim Serpico, I go, dude, I want this. He goes, done next Wednesday. All I know is does he really? Yeah, he took me. Yeah. From the fucking waiter's house yeah. to the penthouse. And you yeah. smelled like guacamole. And, <laughs> and your management has waiters. Your waiters. <laughs> <laughs> management smells and like And if you're guacamole. listening, that's Bobby. I love you guys. You guys are doing a great I job. I fucking love right fucking now. unbelievable. Right now. Right now. How, you know yeah. what? I'm sick of those fucking assholes. You're it. in the comedy yeah. business. And we. I've done more for them in the comedy cellar confines, I've promoted their fucking club. I promote them. I say they're great management. I fucking help their clients. I do all I fucking can for that fight, and they can't take a it hit. It was just jokes, guys. Which right? one? Who was it? I'm not saying, but listen. The Italian also, one. Was it the Jewish com- one or the a, Italian I'm one? I'm not saying. If you're it was the comic, Italian one. If you're a comic listening, okay, the Edinburgh fiasco was on everybody. It's yeah. Edinburgh's very hard. I decided Look, to pull out. To they had money. a lunch rush, and they couldn't <laughs> get to what Giannis needed because of the time difference. So just uh, leave it alone. But this was very nice. Thank you, they're, guys. They're yeah. a great management. Yeah. They got Thank a lot of great guys. They got some guys. They got great guys. They got great guys. Uh, they got great guys and they got great empanama. <laughs> no, they're they're great. You guys got to learn how to fucking relax. Yeah. We love the guys relax. at Cringe Management. We love cringe humor. We love the stand. Um, and my ex-girlfriend's a very talented girl and she deserves yeah, all the success going she's places. She's going places. Except she's... Miami. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But, you know, I probably wouldn't have made that decision. Hey. And I wish her the best. I can't man. wait for this. This I is what do. I can't wait I for. I wish her all the best. The no VMAs feelings. are in Miami this year. <laughs> Next up, we have a friend of mine. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so all I, jokes. If you're yeah, listening to, it's all around. jokes. Wow. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. Hey, you know what? If you think it's serious, go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself. How's that? From me. Go fuck yourself if you're getting all f- weirded out. Yeah, how's that sound? That so, sounds good. I'm so, guys, starving. please listen to me on the Fusion Morning Show, whatever it's called, <laughs> launching in October.